Hello friends, were you worried about me? I'm here. Good evening, how are you? Happy Friday Night Live. Um, yes, I uh, was trying to put my face on. I didn't want to scare you guys. So hello, hello, just check in and make sure, let me know everything's working and we're good. And uh, I'm happy to see you. Yes, must have a big entrance coming. I'm not sure, oh, why I was late. <laughs> um, no big entrance, just had uh, combed my hair today and all the other things and then forgot to put anything on my face. So I did not want to frighten you. Hello, Scarol Scott, how are you? Um, happy to be here tonight. Uh, I was working, that's why I was getting stuff ready, kind of doing this fun thing that I thought would be kind of fun tonight if we did a little bit of um, mixed media and cut it into strips and see where we can go with that. Cause I just think it'll be relaxing. What do you think? I think it'll be fun, right? How you guys doing? Did you have a good week? Um, are you all ready to craft tonight? Who's gonna play along with me tonight? Who is just hanging out and drinking a bottle of wine or whatever you're doing, right? Love the headband last night. But now it's like in full bouffant style because this hair is very long for me but it turned out okay today so that was a plus but uh happy to see you guys here tonight it has been again like always a week that just blew by <laughs> anyone else feel like that what is up with that i'm like how are we what well, was a holiday weekend in canada last weekend so that could be why it just blew by because it was a short week. And then I know for a lot of my American friends, well, for all of my American friends, it's Memorial Day weekend, right? So fun. Paper weaving takes me back to summer camp, right? I, I just thought it would be something fun. And it was something that just kind of, as I was sitting here and playing with the texture paste and some stencils, and I went, oh, that could be fun. Why don't we just do that? Because I said tonight would be a start to finish layout. And even if you don't have the texture paste, you could just use ink or whatever you have on hand, okay? Um, you should show the upcoming kits for peeps who missed it last night. I moved them, but if you guys want to see them, I'll grab them again and uh, I can show you. I love the longer hair. It is very long for me, Natalie. And the roots are very long. It's I am obviously not a natural blonde, but I don't think that surprises anybody. You can't believe it's almost June. Me either, Lynn. Seriously, what the heck? So yes, Penny, you want to see a peek at uh, the upcoming kits that I'll be working on this week. Uh, Rich has got it all laid out and he's going to be kidding. But um, I had done an impromptu Facebook Live last night on uh, Vicky Boot and Creative Community on Facebook. And then everybody went to look for it and I deleted it because I said, those impromptu ones, it's just, I feel like... Um, I leave it up for a little bit and then I take them down because it literally was just idle chatter. We were just chit chatting. So uh, if you went to look for it, it's not there anymore. <laughs> it's not there anymore. But yes, I agree with you, Karen, this week um, flew by. Uh, what? So I've been Vicky abled. What's that mean, Renee? How have you been Vicky abled? I love it. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. So love my shirt. Thank you. Do you want funny that this shirt is um, a sweater? I, everything's backwards. So I got to remember. Um, it is. Oh, I just forgot the name. From my youth, I, I was very much into. Oh, Benetton. This is a Benetton sweater. Don't you think that is hilarious? Have you sent a newsletter? A newsletter for what, Veronica? For the kits? No, because they're not ready. And remember, um, if you recall, I said, I will not post them in the store until the instructions are written and uh, it's all done. So um, no newsletter has been sent. The only newsletters that have been sent is if you are already signed up for one of my upcoming classes that the kits already went out for. Newsletters for all of them with instructions have been sent. So a lot of you guys have been emailing me saying, I didn't get the instructions or the link won't work check your email in your promotions folder or just Google search or just Google search, search in your email for Vicki Booten because 99.9% uh, 
percent of the people who email me and say they don't have instructions, um, they're there. It just is a matter of finding it, right? But isn't that funny? Yes, this sweater is Benetton. Um, I hope you had some time to breathe. I never have time to breathe, Karen. I always think that I will, but it just never happens. The list just, it's, it's cumulative. It just keeps coming, right? So, but very excited um, that uh, we already started some prep work for the collection that'll come out next year because uh, we had to get some of that stuff ready and I'm really excited about that one yet. And you guys haven't even seen the two that are in the pipeline that'll be coming out in, um, I'll be sharing the next collection on June 30th. Um, it will be presented. I don't know if I'll have physical product yet, but that will be happen happening. And then I have another collection that's coming out in the fall that I'm not, I probably, maybe August, I think the sneak peek will probably go out for that in August. Do you thrive on pressure? I don't thrive on it. I just, this is, since I've started paper crafting as, a, a, as my job, it has been at this pace for as long as I can remember. It's just crazy. The only difference now is it used to be the pressure was to create, to create, to create, because I was on so many design teams and worked for magazines. And now it is literally running my own business. That is so it's not the creative stuff is such a minimal part of it now. It's all of the behind the scenes that people don't see. Or, and maybe you're like, why hasn't she email me back? And it's literally because I'm just, right, just trying to keep all the balls in the air. And it's it's a lot, but it's good. It's not a complaint. It's awesome. Um, did somebody, I see you're saying your sympathy, oh, my sympathies. I And then an LOL. And I'm like, did I miss some, but something? I wasn't sure, but I get it now. Uh, it takes me a little while, right? When I told everybody that there were um, four weeks or four four weeks in a 12-week session. Because <laughs> that's just Vicky math, right? I think I heard something about a gel press class this summer. Will we be able to pre-order? Um, I'd be working on that. So things, I, I started working on it. And then with it being a holiday, a lot of people... Um, were away today, but uh, came to find that all of the things I need to do for a starter kit for people who are interested um, are flowing into the places I would order. So one thing I would recommend for the gel printing class is make sure that you already are a part of the Vicki Booten Creative Community group page. So it's my little group page where it, anything you want to be up to date on, that's where I share information. I'm going to be posting a poll tomorrow to see um, how many people are interested in a kit, like a starter kit with an eight by 10 gel plate, a brayer. And I think in that kit, I would also include 25 sheets of uh, cardstock, like eight and a half by 11 cardstock as a starter kit. And then I'm also gonna have add-on kits of other things that you could use, stencils, a whole bunch of stuff. But I want to kind of gauge um, how many people need the gel plate. And I'll give you an idea of the price. And then I will put a poll on there. So um, go on there and click yes if you are, like click on that part of the poll, if you are interested in the starter kit for the gel plate so that I can, um, get that rolling. I need to put an order in. Okay. So yes, it's coming. And uh, now like everything else, I have to really get that rolling, but it will be fun. So if you're like, what is it? What's gel plate printing? It's printmaking. It's amazing. It is probably one of my most favorite things to do. And what the class will be is a four week class with a private group where we can all chat and share our art. And I will do two live sessions with different lessons every week. So there'll be eight lessons over the month of July. So you can literally, it will be an online class and um, you can watch it live or you can watch them after the fact. And there'll be lots of golden nuggets throughout. I'm designing some stencils, exclusive stencils, as long as I can get them in time and ordering a whole bunch of stencils. So when I do my store um, reload with the new kits that are coming out, 
I will also put the gel plate access for the class up plus the uh, starter kits and all the information will be coming, but that's kind of what we were talking about. Okay. Uh, just keep, if you have any other questions, Vicki, what is the ink storage you use for distress inks and how many does it hold? You're talking about this, right, Lisa? Help me. I don't remember what the name of this is, but it's in paper storage in uh, Ikea and it stores a lot. Like that's what I have on one tray, right? So it stores a lot. And then in the bottom, I have just dollar store little um, holders for my ink blending tools and my extra foams. So it holds a ton. It starts with a K, like is it Kivel? Kybel or something. I don't remember, but yeah, that's what that is back there. Um, hello, Nicole. Hello, friends. Um, you don't need to condition them unless they've dried out. Yeah, your gel plate is good. Like if you, you will be fine and you can, we'll talk about all the things to clean it. Um, the paints, because I'm not going to sell paint, but I will be putting up my glazes and such on my shop because these work beautifully with the gel plate. So it will be super fun. Hello, uh, Leo, how are you, friend? Yeah, K-V-I-S-S-L-E from Ikea. That's what I use to store all my Distress Ink and it holds a ton. Like it, I think I have all of them on there. So I'll run out and I'll need another one, but I think they still have it. Um, just popping in quickly to say hi, I have some video editing to do tonight. What's up with that, Nicole? You know it's Friday night. You should be hanging out with me, but it's okay. I'm glad you came to say hi. And hello, Lil Konkar. How are you? So yes, it is. It's still available at IKEA. Great because I know they IKEA discontinued a whole bunch of stuff, like a whole bunch of stuff that have been like go tos for scrapbookers and crafters. So um, makes me sad. You're teasing me with the gold glaze. Dying to find it somewhere. I have a case of it here. So if you have ordered from me before, Stacy, I will be posting it. So um, I have a case of it and I know that scrapbook.com, I asked them very nicely if they would bring it back. So um, they're working on that. It will be back there as well. Do the glazes stay wet long, longer than regular acrylic paint? My glazes, I would say they are he they're he like a heavy body paint. So as long as it takes a heavy body paint to dry, will be for the glaze. But with a gel plate, everything dries almost immediately. It's pretty freaking awesome. So when we go to do that, I will share all the information, but I'm not there yet. I'm working on it. Next week is going to be crazy town, crazy town for the stuff that I'm going to be working on. But friends, I'm going to flip the camera around, okay? So you don't have to look at me. Let's do some work and I can talk to you um, while we're doing that as well. So it's not like, oh my goodness, ma'am. Will you um, stop with the chatting? Thank you. I love my rainbow. I bought two of them. They're ben It's a Benetton, right? Gel plate will be so fun because everyone's creations will be different and neat to see. It is so fun, Val. It's so fun. Um, it is going to be really awesome. So let me flip the camera. Hello. There's everything. Um, what about the kits? Uh, I will grab them because I'm going to show you when I have this here. Um, but I will go grab them. I have three of them. So just a second. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I cleaned up and I moved everything, friends. So let me show you what I've got. So they're not done yet. So just know that now will be the prep work. So if you're familiar with my albums, you kind of get an idea. So I have, um, does it dry too? It's good. The glazes are like one of the best products that have my name on it. I have to say, like, I really, really love um, the gold iridescent and silver glazes. And it's one of those because they've been out since I started my collection, right? Um, so my collections with American Crafts. So as my, um, the awareness of my brand has grown, the glazes are still around, but a lot of people, uh, like salespeople at American Crafts and stuff will think like, oh, it's, it's not like brand new product, but it's brand new to a lot of people, right? So now my whole goal is to get it back 
out there in the stores because it is certainly available in the warehouse. And now we just have to get people to be carrying it so you guys can access it, right? So um, that is my goal. I'm working on the things. So I was playing before um, we got started tonight. I wanted to see how this would work. So if, you know, my idea that was in my head <laughs> would turn out. But yes, these glazes are one of my favorite products. Like it is one of those that uh, is awesome. Like I said, Kim, I have a case of it. I have a case of gold, silver, and iridescent, and I will be restocking um, my store as well. Just bought the iridescent glaze. Is it, oh, iridescent glitter glaze? You're just super lucky you found it, Marta. It came out and was discontinued almost immediately. Don't know why, but um, if you find that one, it's like, it is, what would you call it? Like the golden egg or whatever, you can't find it. But the iridescent, I love because what you do with this one, is you can make anything distress ink anything sparkly like with diamonds right so it's fun so we'll talk about those because i'm going to do a whole bunch of stuff i'm going to do artwork to support that when they come back out and they're re-released so that you guys can um make a conscious decision if it's something that you want just from seeing the work that i've done with it vicky's glaze was one of my first purchases of vibu stuff i love it right and they're still good these are still good right yes this one is what i call um happy unicorn tears right because they it's sparkly happy unicorn tears because it's like if the unicorn was laughing so hard it was crying it would cry glitter tears and that's the whole thing right so yay i have a plastic container full of vicky's glazes and textures paste i love it so for tonight and then i show i have the kits here so you guys can get a little sneak peek because just know when they go for sale don't be mad if you don't get one when i ordered them it was based on kind of how the kit sales have been going and then with covid it just all kind of blew up and then everything has sold out so i can't reorder anything any scrapbook product i think if you talk to any store or whatever it's like one and done you better when you order most of the things especially things that are end up being popular it's done if you don't order it you're not reordering it so um i will show you a peek of the three kits that are coming and then you also, now we've talked about it, that it will be an online class, will be a month long, month long, four week online class will be the gel plate class. And I'm aiming for July. So I just have to get all the stuff ordered. So yay, so many questions now. I hope I'm answering them because I keep looking over here, right? And um, most of you guys have Vibu sections in your scrap room. I love that. You guys are awesome. Like that is super, super awesome. Yes. And it was uh, on HSN. There was a Vicky Booten starter kit that people loved because uh, it was all minis, right? Everything was a mini of the glazes, a couple of art crayons, some stamps and stuff. And uh, that was super popular on uh, when I went back in the day when I was on HSN. So um, this is kind of our idea for tonight and we're going to see where it goes. But my goal, look at, I printed a photo, printed photos of Devin and it's the same picture. I just printed twice on, um, on my uh, Epson Picture Mate 400. And I'm going to do a layout start to finish tonight. So I'm going to run you guys through. We're going to do the technique for this using a stencil brush so it'll dry really fast. And then we're going to use some different things. So when I initially did this, I had a whole bunch of pink in it. And I thought, what if we use some of the ready-made backgrounds, right? And then um, I'm not sure if we're going to do that tonight. I might leave those for next week and we'll do a technique on them. Just because I feel like it's too much going on. So I would rather this be on a simpler background. And then we'll save these pretties. Like this is gel plate printed some of my gel plate art so this is something we'll be learning when we do that but um i changed my mind so last night i told you guys we were going to do this and it i guess it's my prerogative right is that okay that's not really going to work out so i'm um 
going to switch it. I feel like if they are so popular, why discontinue them? Which one, the, the glitter glaze? Um, because the pap my papers sell out almost instantly as soon as this stuff comes out. The stickers as well. The mediums, a lot of stores don't order them. And I don't understand because I think you guys are looking for them. But I think some stores that don't do mixed media in their stores are afraid of the mixed media. But the whole thing is like a lot of the stores that are out there, and I appreciate you guys that are out there tonight, are on board because they're like, all I have to do is share one of Vicky's lives and I can sell the product. As long as you guys work with me, I don't think you'll ever have an issue of being stuck with the stuff. All you have to do is if somebody comes in and says, oh, gold glaze, what is that? Or what are texture paste? I don't understand. All you have to do is send a link to the videos and people can decide for themselves, right? Um, if it's something they want to do. And uh, I find that I make it very approachable, right? A lot of you guys that are here never would have touched this stuff before. I want a red glaze. It would be so pretty. It would be Robin. But remember, we talked about with red and mixed media can often look like CSI, right? Red can often be like a crime scene. So sometimes it's hard with that, <laughs> right? But um, I like the idea maybe of a metallic red at Christmas time would be really pretty, but um, it's hard. Red is hard, like to put splatters or anything with red. Um, yes, it can look like, you know, CSI. So anyway, um, that's the plan for tonight. So before we get started, because you asked here quickly, thank you, Patty had said, um, can you show the kits that are coming up? So one of the kits that I will be doing is a mix of the Jen Hatfield reaching outline and simple story, simple stories, simple stories, tr uh, safe travels. So it is going to be a combination of safe travels and the reaching out and it will be a six by eight interactive album thanks son rich got me some water six by eight interactive album in a navy binder so this is coming so if you've loved any of my other album classes this is the one i'm working on this week all the product is here and ready to go i'm just missing one sheet of cardstock and it's coming the other kit that's going to be coming is a sun kiss uh, from Simple Stories uh, kit, and it is going to be with the speckled flip book and layouts, just like I did with the Amy Tan class, right? So it will be the, uh, you get a stencil in this one, washi tape, sticker book, uh, collection pack, and it will all be in this flip book plus layouts. It will be uh, a combo class, so that one's coming. And the other one that I have a very, very limited amount of is this Pink Fresh Keeping It Real, which is going to be a uh, combination pocket page layout class. So it will be coming as well. And um, it is with this beautiful collection and everything you see there, the whole paper pack is in this kit, plus some cardstock and other pieces. So those are the three classes that I'm working on that we have to, I have to pump out and get those out because then I have two new collections that are coming with two new Lollapalooza weekends. So, oh my goodness, right? Vicky is crazy, right? So it's crazy. It's gonna be coming, but um, the new class is going to be, uh, my new collection is coming out. I can uh, announce it on June the 30th and that will be a pre-order for uh something super special i think lail is here she's seen it natalie has seen it so it's excited learn the hard way with ink spray St uh, style stamp and yellow stamping ink yes because that can look like a whole other thing right june 30th to pre-order i don't think well i don't think a should I do the pre-order when it releases or maybe the day after? My only thing is you guys will get a peek at it, but I won't have product yet, Kari. But you guys will probably want to get in on that. I think that that one is going to do um, really well and we're going to have a lot of fun. It'll be another like a color study weekend. So anyway, 
Um, you're going to need a lot of red to tint it. Add a bit of baby. Pe I don't know what we're talking about. So, yes, Lael says it's stunning. She's got to see it. Pre-ordering your next line will be my birthday present to myself. Super fun. So just kind of keep that in mind that there are going to be two more Lollapalooza weekends this year. One will be, I almost gave it away, is something very fun and festive. And the other one is going to be... Um, is going to be uh, a regular uh, fun kit, like in the richer colors, like I always do for the fall. So it's going to be fun. So anyway, I'm done talking. Let's do some stuff. So tonight, I thank you guys. If you want to play along. Now, these glazes are neon, right? So it is a whole different beast. And the pink I love if we're using on its own, but because it's neon, these are neon colors, uh, the pink doesn't play so well with some of the pinks that are in the ready-made background. So um, I decided once I made these just to kind of do a tester that I'm probably not going to do pink this time. I'm going to go with, um, I had used the peach sour. I'm going to use for sure the blueberry sour, uh, the kiwi, and I think maybe I'll, I'll just do the three. Maybe some lemon sour, but I'll tell you right now, the orange and the lemon, um, or the peach and the lemon, when I use them with a the stencil brush, they're very similar, okay? They're very similar because I find the orange loses some of its intensity, when it is diluted so we'll see what happens let's just do the things and you're going to see how fast this is um it's going to be super fast so will there be a Lollapalooza christmas kit class i don't know maybe jill i cannot say any of the things but maybe 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 what i'm doing this year is going to be like nothing i've ever done before one of my new collections is going to be really, really awesome. So that's enough about talking about that because I can't share the things. Oh, just a second. I left my stencil brush in the sink. Just a second. Because I was playing earlier today. So you guys tried to get all of the top secret stuff out of me and I can't tell you anything. I'm just saying you will not be disappointed. It is going to be really, really, really awesome. Like really, really, really awesome. And here's what I have to say. So the new collection, like if you saw Paige has a new collection coming out, there's a whole bunch of really awesome new stuff coming out. Like there always are, the summer releases. And the feedback for the collections have been really awesome. Like I know my new collection is over 60% sold out already. So, um, I don't think you guys are going to be disappointed if we base it on that, right? That for stores that are already ordering, um, they've been ordering heavily for the new collection. So I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, we could never be dis. Oh, thank you, Brianne. Um, oh, look at all you guys. Thank you. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Stop it, Dana. We can't talk about the things. So you can't just... In your use your inside voice, right? I can't tell you anything, so um, it'll be good. So the idea for tonight is I want you to pick at least two stencils. So at least two, because then you don't have to clean anything, right? And we are going to do some strips of color, and then we're going to cut them out. So I just like that. That this is if you guys kind of have always wanted to do mixed media, but it freaks you out a little bit. This is an easy application. So tonight was supposed to be more about, um, I have to tilt my camera a little bit guys. Okay. Cause that is a little too far away from me. Much better is about making a layout. Like I wanted to do a start to finish project. So you guys could make something tonight if you feel like it. So even if you don't have the glazes, you could just stencil or stamp a couple strips in three shades of ink if you wanted to. Okay. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start with the yellow and let's see if how the yellow and orange, maybe we can make a new color, right? So I'm going to take a little bit of texture paste. So 
even if you're out there, Lil, this is a technique that anybody can do, even if you don't think you're super comfortable with the mixed media, right? So, and I'm not picking on Lail. I just know that we talk about this, right? That um, she's definitely finding her groove with ink and stuff, but sometimes it freaks her out a little bit, the messy stuff. Um, thank you for my painted fence. Yes, I love how that turned out, Julie. Um, I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, and now it's almost snowing here today. That's how cold it is. It's ridiculous. And uh, so now I'm just hoping all that money I spent on plants that they survive because it could be a real thing. So I've put a really thin layer down of the um, lemon sour texture paste and I'm loading my stencil brush in a circular motion. My stencil brush is a little bit damp because I used it. I actually think it aids a little bit in putting this through the stencil in a thin coat. So you could even go like this with a little mist, put your um, glaze on there. You don't want it to be thick. Do you see it's only on the tip of my brush? And then in a circular motion, I'm going to start to apply this yummy neon yellow in a really kind of thin layer through the stencil and I'm really kind of working that pattern okay so it's a very light subtle highlighter yellow oh I love it and then you'll find sometimes this is a clean stencil brush that I just kind of do a little brush with sometimes with the thicker mediums just so I can make sure there's no uh, thicker edges but look how fun that is right you could be doing this, like I said, with your favorite ink. It does not have to be um, my glazes if you don't have them, right? If you have them, here's a fun way to use them. So again, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to add a layer. Okay, super easy, making your own, in essence, pattern paper. And I'm going to use the uh, same stencil just because I'm going in with the orange now. Um, and it should be fine. This is a wet paper towel. And just to take that layer of yellow off, I'm just going to wipe it on my paper towel. Okay. I don't care if it's super perfectly clean. But it will be helpful to not have a ton of yellow on there so I get a true representation of the orange. And now I'm going to wipe this off. Normally, you know, we wouldn't waste this. We would kiss it on to a background. But tonight I want to actually make a page. So it encourages you guys to play along. Because I find when we do this and I get you to play along, we get better results. Right? Rather than just doing mixed media, that kind of freaks some of you out. Uh, hello, Vicki from Sunny Christchurch. Yay. Yes, Lil, when do you leave on your trip? When are you going? Where are you going? Tell the tell the peoples, Lil. She's going somewhere super exotic, and I'm still a little bitter about the whole thing because guess where I'm going? It, it, exotic for me in Ontario <laughs> with lockdown. If I want to get really wild and crazy, I might go to a different grocery store this week. Getting there, piles of things at this point. Tomorrow, it's time to cut the piles in half. Because you know you're not going to wear half of it, Lil. Right? I think you just need a couple of hot bathing suits, some sundresses, and a couple pairs of shoes, and you're ready to go. We leave a week from today. So tell the peoples where you're going, because it's very exciting. Um, and I think that she should bring me with her. And I don't think that uh, Nick, her husband, would mind at all. Right? I'm their friend, and they should want me to come with them on their romantic getaway. <laughs> so I'm doing the same thing now with the peach. Uh, then uh, my husband, what? Then my husband will tell me to cut it in half, in half. <laughs> You're half and half. He'll be like, okay, you still have too much. Freaking tell Nick to stop being the fun police, Lil. If you want to pack the clothes and 20 pair of earrings, it's your prerogative, man. Oh, it's 2.39 in um, where you are in Sweden. That's awesome. 
Uh, where did she say where she was going? Because I forgot which one, which exotic destination it is. Lil, why aren't you telling the peoples? Um, hello, friends. Lots of you are just coming in here, checking us out. Um, so I'm going in here with another layer. And the orange is actually working. Uh, the peach color is working a little better than when I first tried it. So that's a good thing. So see, just another strip. I love it. Dry almost to the touch already, okay? So let's go in now with another stencil, only because then we don't have to get up and clean the same one. I'm just going to do this so the stuff comes off. This dries quickly, yes, when you are using it with a stencil brush, right? Because you're using a very thin layer. But don't forget, this is a texture medium that if I wanted to go through and add a thick layer, it would take a little bit longer to dry. Hello, kisses from Peru. Hello, how are you? Hi, Catherine. It's fine. Whenever you get here, you get here. It's all good, right? It's all good. So again, friends, right? I just take that clean stencil brush and just kind of rub some of those edges but we're going to be cutting this all up anyway right is a peruvian kiss anything like a french kiss wow i don't know i can't even tell you the things there so i'm cleaning my stencil brush off again okay just on this wet paper towel every friday yes i'm here doing the things for ever i've been doing these friday night lives for a lot of you guys found me during COVID times, right? When you're at home and you're like, oh, I just need something to do. I'm sick of Netflix or whatever you guys are doing at home. And a lot of people have found me in COVID times, but I have been doing Friday Night Lives prior to that, probably for at least a year, I think, prior to that, right? So it's good. This is a great way for us to connect because anybody who's been around for a while knows that I love the connecting part, right? Um, okay, I'm going to go in with a different stencil. So what do we want to use next? I want it to still ooh, um, be, see how this is a large pattern, like a lot of surface area is covered. So I have my old script. I have, ooh, that one could be fun. I'll use this one, okay? So I'm gonna use this, whatever you guys have. Um, I have this stencil. It could be this one. It could be, oh, that's a fun one. This could be awesome. And then I have a bunch, I think, look at this one from scrapbook.com. Just, you want a stencil that has lots of open space. See how these have lots of open space? So you're getting a lot of co color on there, okay? You found me during COVID last April, and you're still here. That's very exciting that I didn't scare you away. Hello, Carissa. How are you? So I'm doing a quick background that I'm going to cut into strips that we're going to do some paper weaving because I love paper manipulation. So I just thought it'd be fun, and we're going to make a layout tonight, and then we can use our scraps and make a card. That is my goal, right? Um, so I am, you have this one is one of my favorite stencils ever, um, with a script and wait till you see guys, I have designed and I'm trying to get into production on Tuesday. I have, um, eight new stencils, at least eight new stencils, right? What size of binder do you store your stencils? And I don't anymore, Daphne, I don't store them because I got rid on the new ones. There are no binding holes because uh, we don't make the binder anymore and I didn't want to lose the space that we did for the binding holes had to make the side wider so uh, I said let's get rid of the binding holes the other thing is uh, you ink into these if you don't mask them so I actually do not store them in a binder any longer because American Crafts doesn't sell one so now I just store them in a drawer right so wait to see what's coming. You guys are going to be super excited. And I think over the weekend, I'm going to try to design a couple masks as well. So, um, and those will just be stencils that are on vickyboot.com. Okay. Um, because they're my designs that I just do on my own. So they will be coming. It's going to be fun. So I am going to put a strip now. I have the green and the blue here. So I think I'll go with the blue first. 
Hi, April. Um, in lockdown again in Australia. We're still on lockdown, so I'm right there with you, sister. So just stay safe. I'm sad about no binding holes as I can't put them in a jump ring now. Well, you could punch a hole if you wanted to, right, with a paper punch. But um, I just uh, got rid of the holes because we don't have a binder anymore. We used to have a binder that they went in, right? And uh, American Crafts discontinued it years ago. Like it was one of the first Vicky Booten products in the first collection. And uh, now I just, you could put them in a binder with pocket pages. I put mine in a drawer. I bought a drawer in the makeup area. So I still put them in a binder, but just put them with um, pocket pages, right? And I, uh, I'm organized too, but I have a drawer that I bought in the makeup section of um, Home Sense, Home Goods, that has drawers that fit them perfectly. And all of my stencils are in there and I love it. I pull a drawer out and I pull out what I use, but you could certainly use a binding ring and punch a hole in it if you want to, but I like page protector idea right so let's go in with the blue so make sure that your stencil brush is a little bit damp it just makes this go a little bit further okay it won't dry as quickly and we're going to go in here and again just in a circular motion start to apply your pattern and i'm just rubbing 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 oh this could be fun look at that and then right just where the edges are, I like to soften it with my second brush because it's almost dry, right? So I just find that gives that a really smooth, reminds me of like skyscrapers or something. It's kind of fun, right? I'm going to put a little mist, just one. Boop. I don't want it wet, wet. I just want it a little on the damp side. And then again, in a circular motion. And I'm very light a light touch to start and then you can give her okay but it's just so i can deposit the color around before i kind of go in all crazy girl and you can use ink as well you will get a little bit of a different ink because uh, look because it this is a little bit on the heavier side right because it is a heavier medium and then i just soften my lines out a little bit do you have to do that step not at all i just like to okay what are we saying? Did I miss anything? Hi, Don. How are you? Yeah, you just punch a hole with the crop dial if you want to. Um, I see, look at, I made the decision for everybody. I didn't like the holes in my stencil because I often um, would stencil the hole onto my artwork. So, and we didn't have the binder, so I got rid of it. So look at, now for all you guys who liked it, just figure it out. But you guys ended up all having to do what I wanted. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, hello, Don. How are you? Our friend Don is here from W plus nine. So now I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to switch it just because I can. Let's, I'm going to go in with a different stencil. I'm going to use this one just for fun. And I'm going to put that one down. I love this one that kind of looks like tiles. Look, I'm not even cleaning my mat off. I'll just put the green in another section because this is almost dry anyway. And if I did put the green into that, I could make a turquoise, but I'll just kind of stay true. Neoni, ooh, neoni green. So what my idea is, I'm trying to work pretty fast through these because this is just to make a background that then we can turn into. I'm going to do a layout and then for, with the scraps, I will do a card because I am a card maker now, didn't you know? I am very proudly making cards with a little bit of confidence after last week that I will share all of the ones I made last week's Friday Night Live as soon as I get some, I'm trying to order some dies. I need some sentiment dies because I decided that's the kind of card maker I'm going to be. I need to do layered um, dies with the sentiment, the big word on it. That is the kind of card maker I am going to be, <laughs> if you were wondering. So I was talking to my friend Greta today, and I she had a whole bunch of dies in an, on a magnetic sheet. And I said to her, I need to do that too, Greta. 
I need to have dies on a magnetic sheet because now I am a card maker. So I'm very excited to do that. This stencil I think is dirty. So if you're looking at that color that's on there, it is totally because I must have been a slacker and didn't clean the color off of this stencil. But like all of the things, whatever, just going with it. It is still fine. It is not going to ruin anything because this is only going to be one aspect of this layout, right? Little blast. And let's go ahead and layer a little bit more. I'm going to go in a little darker with the green here. Very good, very good. I'm going to place it one more time. Just so I can get a little bit more. Oh, I love it. Soften it up a little bit. Maybe overlap one more time. I keep saying that, right? Just one more time on that blue a little bit too. Oh, I love it. So three strips of color, right? Um, you can buy magnetic event covers at your hardware store. That's a great idea, right? See, are you a card maker? The card makers have all the best ideas. All the best ideas. Can you please tell the name of your stamp storage? Are you talking to me? I'm not sure what stamp storage. I'm not sure. Audrey, or are you sharing that? Are you asking somebody else? <laughs> I'm not sure. Sometimes I read these things, right? And I'm not sure. Um, and then I love, because this is a community, right? Is you guys are having your own conversations that I don't even know what we're talking about. So, yeah. So I'm going to look at this and um, try to answer things. And then I'm like, I don't know what we're talking about. So explain, what is the vent cover storage? What are you guys talking about? You talking to me? Yeah, you talking to me? So explain that, please. What is that that you're talking about? Can you please tell the name of your ink storage? Oh, by Ikea. It's K-V-I-S-S-L-E, however you say that Swedish word. <laughs> I think it's Swedish, right? It, I don't know if you pronounce the K and the V together, Kvissel, or is it just Vissel? Is it Kissel? I'm not sure. Is the lady still here from, oh, is the late, is it, there's an L in it, isn't it? Is it Kvissi? It's something like that. I get the plastic envelopes online either through Gina K or just Amazon. Yes, I like that in the magnetic sheets. Um, yes, what is a vent cover? I, I don't even know what that is, right? I don't know what that is. So I love the orange color. Me too. Like I really like, I had done the pink the first time and I love it. I love the neon pink, but it just competed a little bit. And because I'm trying vent covers, are just an option for magnetic sheets. Yeah, I don't, you'll have to explain that to me, Greta, because I don't get it. I don't understand, is a vent cover magnetic? Like when I think of a vent cover, it's the little metal thing with the lines in it. So I don't know what that is. Um, I got you, Vicki. I'll get you vent covers. But do you know what I'm saying? When I think of a vent cover, I'm thinking, it is Kvissel. Kvissel. Am I saying it right? Kvissel. That's the um, holder from Ikea. And I, I do love it. It is not my idea. I think my friend, um, my friend Janice told me about it right like years ago when I started this room and I love it. It's the best thing. So I will share that with anybody who asks. I think it is a great way to store your uh, distress ink. They fit perfectly size wise. Uh, to cover the vents in your floor, they're magnetic. But don't they have, like, I don't know. I, one of you guys will show me because I'm like, I don't understand. Tim Holtz buys vent covers from hardware stores. They cover up your metal vents in the off season. Then he cuts them down to fit in his Sizzix pockets. 
Yes. Okay. But you see what I'm saying? I thought that a vent cover is like the slats, the metal thing. So I don't know what it is, but I'm sure one of you guys will talk about it another time because that's just making my head hurt. So, um, and, but if Tim does it, then I'm going to do it too. Because whatever Tim does, I'm just going to do that. I, just, I don't even argue with him. He's just smart. You know, so, and all you card makers, I just do what the card makers do because I feel like card makers are very inventive and I really appreciate that. Okay. I am done with the mediums. Like I said tonight, I wasn't going to make it too complicated. The only thing now in, in hindsight, which I think would be fun, is I'm going to cut these into strips. But I think I might put a layer of um, script on top of a couple of the strips after they're cut. Okay. So now I'm going to cut. Uh, I'll have to see it because I'm visual. It's like a blanket for your vent cover. D what kind are these used in old houses? <laughs> right. I'm like, I've never seen a vent cover. I don't even know what the heck we're talking about. And I don't understand why you need to actually use one. So it will be. Um, and hello, Julianne. I haven't seen you for a while. So unless you've been here and just ignoring me, not talking to me. But of course, when we bring up your boyfriend, Tim Holt's name, that's when you pipe up. It's not your friend of many years. You don't come to talk to me. But if we talk about Tim, Julianne is here. She's in the game. She wants to have a conversation, which is fine. Um, no splatter, not at this point. I'm not there yet, Karen. I'm gonna cut these all into the varying widths of strips to do our paper weaving. And then some of them I'm gonna stamp. You know what else you could do on this if you wanted to, is you could go over it with some distress ink as well, right? So see, I laugh. This'll be the Friday night that we went off the rails talking about vent covers and Vicky had no clue why you need a vent cover <laughs> like is it in old homes that like are not energy efficient like why do they still cover those like now I, I feel like inquiring minds are going to need to know so I'll check it out after but right at this point oh look at is that a link to a vent cover <laughs> it's easy I'll look after um, so I am going to cut these into varying widths of strips, the whole thing into strips, right? Um, like, I feel like, what's this, what's that guy's name? Uh, Bob Vila, this old house? Like, it, like, is this an episode of this old house or are we crafting? I don't know what's happening. So literally just varying widths of strips. And like I said, when we're done, some of these I am going to stamp on because I think that could be interesting to just have vary the pattern a bit. Um, so we're just going to go. It's just a fun way to quickly make a layout using some mixed media um, and a different way to use your stencils and make something fun. So that's kind of where my um, brain was going tonight. And we're just going to do some things and then we'll have enough left over that we totally could, you can make a card as well. And because now I'm a card maker, which I always thought I couldn't do. I just really thought that um, it was not in my wheelhouse. And last week changed my mind. I really had fun. I actually, it's, I had an aha moment last week with you guys in the card making. So I'm going to do the things, going to make the cards. So see, just whipping through, not thinking about it too much. Just some thin ones, some fat ones. And everyone's screaming vent covers at Vicky. I know, like, oh my goodness, I'm going to, I'm going to go to the front door and I'm going to have like a whole bunch of packages with vent covers in them because now everybody's like, Vicky, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> the world of vent covers and I'll be like I'm sorry I don't know what the trouble I started with the whole vent it was vent cover gate I love it um yeah it's all good 
So, yep, let's just do the things tonight, right? But I want to make a layout start to finish. I'm going to be like my friend Shamel, right? If you guys go and follow Shamel, she makes stuff, right? When you go there, you make layouts. So I want to channel my inner Shamel tonight that um, we won't just do mixed media with no end game. Tonight, we will also make a project. So, and even if you're a card maker or you do mixed media, just follow along with what I'm doing and just don't put a photo and the other things on it, right? Just make what will make you happy because that is always my goal is just to, I'm glad that you hang out with me and I want to do things that maybe um, encourage you to play along or I just like the company and I'm happy you're just hanging out with me, right? I love it. What? Not a card maker? You're funny. I just didn't think I was. I'm not lying, right? I have a few pieces of Chamel paper. She is one of my favorite people. I absolutely love Chamel and Wonder Boy. I can't wait. So you guys know, I can't wait to go to England again and teach. And uh, we were supposed to be on a cruise out of there. And I heard this week, I actually just found it. It was in my promotions folder that there's going to be a new cruise going out of England, I think next year. So I don't know what the ports are, but I'm going to look at it so I can go back to England and see my friend Shamel and hang out again. Um, I'm crying and laughing. It's too funny. But about the vent covers, everybody was getting all worked up about the vent covers, right? I'm like, it's okay, dudes. I'll, I'll go and get a vent cover. <laughs> I'll go get the vent cover. I'll do the things. If you guys tell me it's what I need, man, I'm now... I'm getting a vent cover, but I told you what I want is uh, Greta to just give me her book with all the dyes already in it, all organized. And if she was any kind of real friend, she would do that for me, right? So, okay, you ready? You're not late, Pam. You're just on time. So I did uh, for Pam because she's late and now I got to uh, center her out. I did a whole sheet of 12 by 12 foundations paper using my iridescent glazes, the, not iridescent glazes, texture paste um, with a stencil brush. So it would dry really fast and we can do paper weaving. So if you guys don't want to do the mixed media, just cut these out of pattern paper. But to vary it a little bit, I want to tie in a script stamp. So I just cleaned up all the things. So let me grab it because I moved it. I moved it. So look it. I went shopping on one of Tim's lives, right? He started talking about stuff and the whole time he's talking, I'm buying. So I bought some new stencils there in here. This um, I ordered for the store and my shop and then put 20 of them in my thing. I went on scrapbook.com and ordered a bunch of stuff. Oh, oh my goodness. I almost just showed you something top secret. Sorry. Oh my goodness. What was I thinking there? You guys almost got a peek. I ordered these from Ali Edwards. I love them. So what I'm looking for is the script stamp. I think I threw it in here. I ordered a whole bunch of Tim. Oh, I almost just showed you another top secret. Vicky, that was a huge top secret. Two things just almost happened. What the heck, girl? What are you doing? What is wrong with you? So I should not have had that on the screen. Almost saw it. Two different things. Okay. I just need to find <laughs> I cleaned up, right? Oh my goodness. What is wrong with you? They're going to fire you. Okay. So where did you put them, Vicki? You just had them today. Give me a sec. So what am I looking for? If you're like, what is she looking for? What is that weirdo doing? I am looking for my um, script stamps. I had two of them. You know the ones that I sold online? There was one from Hero Arts that is text. And then the other one is Darkroom. Is it Darkroom? Is the stamp company? 
um, that is uh, doo -doo, is uh, oh my gosh, Vicky, what is wrong with you? My brain doesn't work. Well, I have this one we can use. That'll work, right? That'll work. I found something. Don't you love when you clean up like literally 15 minutes ago and then you can't find where you put things? What is that all about is what I'd like to know. Because I had two stamps and I want them now. And of course, because I want them, I can't find them. And then I almost got fired. Because I shared, almost shared something that I really am not supposed to show anybody. So if you saw it, be quiet. Don't tell anybody. Don't get me fired. Okay, we're just going to go with this one. I'm looking. Do you mean, yeah, dark room door stamps. Yeah, remember, guys, I had that really beautiful script dark room door stamp. And I have, okay, I'm going to go look at one more place. Because I remembered. Oh, yep, there they are. Found them. Okay. I put them in another special spot. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I'm a crazy girl tonight. This stamp, I love it. French script. And this one, I love it. It's a different script. Um, this is the one I'm going to use tonight. This is Hero Arts. Okay. And I'm going to reorder them for the store because I love them. Or you could use this one, which is a ledger script from my best friend, Tim Holtz. He doesn't know it, but we all know it here, right? My very, very best friend, Tim Holtz. The Ken to my Barbie. Did you guys see that I bought Barbie eyeshadow? I haven't put it on yet. But um, one of my friends told me, a couple people actually messaged me that um there was a new barbie line of cosmetics and i ordered it immediately and it came very very quickly and now i have barbie eyeshadow <laughs> and lipstick so i'm putting my craft mat down that's what i'm doing here and i'm just going to take a couple of these and stamp them with some script just to vary the pattern so when we go to layer we will have that fun bit um, I love all the text stamps. Me as well, Patty. And if you notice, in every single one of my um, paper lines, there's always text and a script because it really makes my heart happy. So I am going to order more of these because these sold out in the store really fast and I'll get both of them back in. The other thing I'm going to find is some kind of book paper as well. Um, Sabina saying, I cleaned today because one of my stamps was missing, looked through the bin three times and, and hubby helped me to find it. It was in Tim's stamp thingy. <laughs> I love it. Like the platform stamp platform. It happens, man. I would not have been judging you. I'm going to stamp in black. You can stamp in whatever color you want. And like I said, so what I'm going to do to make it fast is I will put a couple strips down, right? Because then I can just stamp down a couple of these so that we have a mix of script and we have plain one. So we'll do that and one more green that has some script. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I inked up Woo, my stamp. I really need to get my Misty out. And I need to order a big Misty. Like, what? It, does it come in a 12 by 12 size? Because I feel as a scrapbooker, I want, I have two sizes, a small little one and a medium size one. And now I feel like I need a big one. I need a big one right? Vent covers, I presume. Stop being a troublemaker, Denise. It does. I need that done. Oh my goodness. Look how fun that is. Um, I need to order the big Misty. Yeah, I don't have a big one. And I think actually, Don, as I say that, I think at our, uh, our uh, retreat, I think I used it when with one of Gina's 
because I think she does large. Gina K does the large. Um, the large, li like what are, are her stencils called? The ones that build a stencil, build a pattern. It's not terrible. Like what kind of friend am I that I can't even remember what her stuff is called? But I think I used it on a large platform. Oh, I love it. So I don't think I need the ends, but let's just in case. <laughs> Look, I'm making a mess everywhere. All right, I'll clean it later. I need like a, what are they called? Stamp chamois. I need all the things that the wreath builder. Thank you. Because that was terrible. What a bad friend I am, Val. I should have been able to say that. Oh, Valerie, and I got my box of stuff. Thank you, friend, for doing that. Valerie is my personal shopper and deliverer of the things because she lives right over the border. Valerie is American. Vicki Booten is Canadian. But we literally could stand um, in our prospective countries and wave at each other um, by Niagara Falls and the what we call the river. So um, I would say in my youth, when we would go to the bars in the U.S., we'd say, or shopping, we say going over the river. That's what I say. I'm going over the river because we literally go over the river to go to Buffalo and to go to Niagara Falls, New York. Not, not bad. You have lots of friends. That's a lot of stuff to remember. I don't even remember my own <laughs> half the time. Oh, Don, I don't want to be a bad friend, though. I want to be the best friend. And I want to learn all of the stamping things because I want all the tools. And I want to buy 700 layering um, sentiment dies. That's what I decided. I need 700 of them. And obviously vent covers to store them. Um, she is across the river, Valerie. You need to go shopping for me too. Natalie, she did go shopping for both of us. And I have a gift here for you. Just saying, Natalie. I have a gift that I will be um, delivering to you. Okay, so for our background, now let's talk. Let's let's have a little powwow. We could go right to pattern paper or cardstock. Or we could do it on, so you see where I had a problem, right? I thought this is out of my ready-made backgrounds. And I really thought we could do it on here. But then I decided, meh, no, I don't want to. I think this will save for another day. And now we can decide, do we want to do it on pattern paper? Or do we want to do a quick, back? only 700, only 700, Diane. That's all I need, 700 layering, stamps, dies. I want all the things. I'm gonna go shop at Jennifer McGuire's because when she shows all of the stuff that she has, man, I just want to go and see, especially for stamps. You know what I'm talking about? Like there are new, beautiful, oh, look it. Oh, that might be really awesome. Um, maybe, because now I put script on it and ruined everybody's night now to put it on here uh but i would love that right i just want to use all of the stamps and i want to go to dawn's house and get all of her flower designs i'm that's what i'm going to do maybe we can start our own tv show where instead of guy fieri going and eating food at everyone's house i can just go and use everybody's craft craft supplies that could be our own that i'll just take it on the road and show up at everybody's house just to use their craft supplies. So we're going to decide what background. For some of you, this might make you vomit because <laughs> there's too many lines going on. Oh my gosh, Don, would that not be the best? Where it's like, I just show up at everybody's house to craft with them. I think that we could make that a TV show. It would be a lot of fun. Ooh, look friends, I might even blow everybody's mind tonight. We could do it on a purple background. You don't see, oh, look how pretty these really pop on there. What do you think? Do you guys like that? And you know, I don't normally use purple. So maybe, well, do we like the orange on there? Let's see. I kind of really like it. Do you guys like that? I think it really contrasts. Um, the lines made your eyes cross, right? I said it might make you vomit. 
But what about this one? Do you like this one? Yes to the purple. Jen likes the purple. I like that a lot. Me too. Let's go with this. Let's do this. Because all the magic's already done for us. And it will make all my purple lovers super happy that we're doing that. Um, you could definitely come to mine and not need to bring anything except maybe your Barbie eye shadow. <laughs> I'm all packed. What are you bringing with you? Clean underwear and my Barbie eye shadow. Because I'm going to Laura's house and she said I can raid her closet and her craft supplies. So I'm in. I'm in, Laura. I'm in. Um, I find most flower stamps lately don't what? Have long stems. Are you a card maker, Pam? Because I, when I design flower stamps, I never put a stamp on it, a stem on it because I figure I can just draw one or cut it out of paper, right? So that's not even something that would cross my mind that you would want to have a stem on your flower stamps. So look at maybe that's why it's not happening. Maybe somebody else is sharing my mind, right? Um, I'll get out my 300 Barbie ornaments. Oh my goodness, Pam, and a bottle of wine and we'll have a party. And I'll, I'll do your makeup with my new Barbie palette because then it can be a sleepover too, right? I love it. Okay, so yes, Pam. Um, so who said about the, right? Do you, you use a stitch stamp for a stem? Yes, I, I wouldn't even think to put a stem in with my flowers. Um, so I wouldn't have even known. You have a Barbie bird. What is that, Denise? Inquiring minds want to know. What is a Barbie bird? What is a Barbie bird? That is crazy talk. Hello, Lise. You make me smile. I love you. So this is it because this one made Marlene vomit. So we can't use this. Barbie makes makeup as in blue eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, Natalie, you need to go look on ColourPop. And they even spell it with a U. I just have to say that. So I don't know if it's, is it English or what's going on with ColourPop? But um, I ordered uh, Barbie eyeshadow, Malibu Barbie eyeshadow, and I ordered a lipstick. And it's really pretty. And there's turquoise and blue and all of the things. Um, we do on some depends on the angle. I draw the flowers if you're, but you make stamps for card making, right, Don? Because I would only put a stem on a, like as a scrapbooker, unless it was like a really tall set of stamps. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. But Aeneas behind W plus nine stamps and she draws beautiful stamps and she is very good colorer as well. Hello, B. And B, wasn't it your birthday this week? I think it was. So happy birthday, B. Um, I think, right? Was I wrong? Was it your birthday this week? A side view bouquet would need them. Yes, it would. Yes, it's for adults. Now everybody thinks that I went and bought Barbie kids makeup, right? You have the original Mal Malibu Barbie. I love it. Happy birthday, B, my friend. I've missed you. It's been a very long time since we've seen each other. So I hope you had the best birthday you possibly could have in COVID times, right? Blue eyeshadow and blue or pink mascara. Yes, you're speaking my love language, Stella. Okay, so we're going to do some paper weaving now. So I am going to lay out a few as a base. Oh. I think this is going to be better than I thought it was going to be. And the stars are like a linear element in the background. So it makes lining it up really fun too. So happy birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to B. Um, it sure has been a long time. Yes, B and I usually get to travel together. Um, she comes on my cruises with me. And I haven't seen B in a very long time. And I don't want to think about that too much because that makes me sad. Okay, so let's put another one. Let's another scripty one. Oh yeah. I'm digging that. Okay. So I'm laying down. So I have one, two, three, four, five for my vertical element for my paper weaving. And now I'm going to start weaving in different patterns. And look, we have lots left for, because now I'm a card maker. 
I can do all these. So now when I go and hang out, I go to a crop with all my card making friends that we've unfortunately had to cancel lots with COVID. So I can't wait till I go in there and I make cards with them and they're all going to literally fall off their chair because they're going to be, oh my goodness, I might not be allowed to go anymore because maybe the only way reason they wanted me there because I wasn't a card maker. Maybe I was just the scrapbooking element and now I won't be allowed to hang out with anybody anymore. What do you think? Okay, so do you see what I did? Over, under, over, under. And now I'm going to go under, over, under, over, under. And vice versa. Okay. Versa vice. So, right. Don't, don't mess it up. Under, over, eek. So it's a little finicky until you get started. Okay. I probably should have started at the top. It might've been easier, but whatever's whatever's whatevs right and we can straighten it all out after just get the job done okay Ooh, look at we could do all kinds of crazy we could do like paper weaving and crisscross applesauce or what is it what's crisscross what song do they sing jump crisscross will make you jump jump but i'm loving that let's grab one of our script ones yeah sure let's do it i don't know i i might want the script one up a little taller here's a good idea too look at we could go to planet right is kind of decide what strips are going where and i like that idea makes you a little bit organized right maybe one more Oh, I like that green and green and an orange. So that's going to be kind of, I'm going to push them up, but now I kind of know my arrangement. All right. I love the crisscross you had, right? That was kind of fun. So that'll be for my card, Suzanne. Remind me. Okay. That's your job tonight. You have to remind me. Hi, look at that B. That my mom is saying happy birthday to you. See, Marie, that's my mom saying happy birthday to you, B. Ah, Sheila, you're so nice. So, um, see, because my mother knows a lot of crafters out there because she would come when I taught in person to a lot of my um, classes. So a lot of people have met my mom who um, is told me she's going to come see me tomorrow. So she better not be a bald faced liar. You better be here tomorrow, Sheila, because I'll come find you. I know where you live. Um, see, you're singing it. Jump, jump. Mac dad will make you jump, jump. Crisscross will make you jump, jump. And I know now all of you are jumping. Not to be confused with, was it, what is it? House of Pain, the other jumping song. But I don't remember what it was. I just remember that when I would go out dancing, all the guys would be jumping to that song in their cowboy boots and you'd be in your sandals and you might lose a toe when that other House of Pain jumping song came on. And you'll only know if you actually went anywhere where they were dancing to that and you had sandals on and the guys wore, <laughs> this will make you laugh, back in the day, when the guys would be in overalls and cowboy boots with no shirt um, underneath their overalls. Isn't that funny? Jump around, right? It's a miggity, 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 Mac. <laughs> I love it. Jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up and get down. So that would happen. And they would stomp on our feet because they never danced. But when that song came on, they wanted to because they could do those moves, right? They could jump around. And then you you just make sure you didn't go anywhere near the dance floor because you might lose a toe when the dudes were out there dancing to House of Pain, not to, um, not to be mistaken with Criss Cross because they might have to know some real dance moves there. So not to be mistaken with Criss Cross. 
you're singing it with me, right? Jump up, jump up and get down. Jump, 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 jump. You are a wackadoodle tonight in the very best way. You love me. Um, and my friend who just called me a wackadoodle because she knows I say that all the time. Julianne, are you finding me some beach glass and all those amazing walks you're going on? Because Julianne, um, where do you live exactly, Julianne? You're, are you in Nova Scotia? I think you are, right? And she goes for walks and she finds the best beach glass. And again, just like Greta, if she was any kind of friend, she'd be organizing some dyes and helping me. Then Julianne should be helping me find beach glass because I um, love that. You remember jumping to that song? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. She is in, how do I say that? Parsboro? Is that how you say it, Julianne? I can't wait to come see you too, because that is another. When we talk about best places in the world to visit, if you have not been to Nova Scotia, make sure you add it to your list because it is one of the best places in Canada. I have to say, I love it. Um, it's beautiful. The people are awesome. And I can eat fresh scallops every single day. And there is nothing better than fresh scallops. And if you think you don't like scallops, you don't know until you go to Nova Scotia and have fresh scallops. So do you see, I want to maybe switch this one out. We'll see. I don't know. I left all my orange. Now I have no orange left. Nova Scotia is beautiful. Yeah. Um, what do you need uh, from Alberta? I don't know. What do I need from Alberta? Where have I been um, in Alberta? I've been, I've been everywhere, I think, in Canada now, except for like the really cold places. Oh, scallops. Oh, my goodness. And don't bread my scallop. Just give me that. You said the same for Niagara Falls, and that's where I am, Yvonne. So if you come to Niagara Falls, you can see me because I'm one of the attractions. <laughs> Look at that crazy lady on the corner when I don't get arrested, right? Um, but yes, I love living in this area. The Niagara region is quite beautiful. Very lucky. Um, you have the Niagara Falls and then you have... Um, and Marlene, are you still out there? Because I bet you Marlene's out there going, she is a crazy lady tonight. Because Marlene would tell me. But we have had crazy weather today. Oh, my goodness. It snowed in Toronto. Did Natalie, did you have snow where you are? Like, did you see snow out your window? Because that's just absolutely madness. That's absolute madness. Okay, I'm going to put this one on here. Oh, PEI, I love too. I went to PEI. We haven't been to Niagara yet. We'll have to put that on my list because Vicky, 100% uh, Don, and a lot of people roll through here and don't let me know. And then you will get a scathing letter <laughs> if you don't tell me you're in my area. <coughs> I have to um, have a drink, sorry. <coughs> I'm choking. It's all that singing tonight, right? You had snow too. That's craziness. Snow. And I bought all these flowers. And I was very proud so far of my garden. And um, all my container gardening. And I just hope it survives. Because it is some scary stuff. So that's as much as I'm going to do. And I just think that's a nice fun textural layer. And by using this pattern that is um, pretty subtle. That it makes this stuff pop on top. So now what I'm going to do is cut these, and that is for my card making, right? I'll have some extra strips for making a card with the same technique. So I'm going to go in here and then just start snipping different lengths. Kind of digging that. Ooh, oops. And... We'll decide if we're keeping them that long or not. Doop -doo. P 
PEI is one of your favorite places. Yeah, I've been to Arizona too. I love that. Um, my favorite cruise went up the coast of Canada with the best excursion being Nova Scotia in the fall. Yes, it's beautiful. Alert, alert. Remembering my job to tell you. <laughs> Card making, Suzanne. Yes, that I need to try to do some double crisscross. Crisscross applesauce for the card. Yeah. It's your job. Um, so it's going to end at the bottom here. I'm going to have it coming off like that. So I'm going to vary the heights of these as well. Do -do. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is flake them to make them a little funky. So I'm going to cut some little flaggy things in it. I've got to keep working here, right, guys? Because I said we're going to be like Chamel and good, we're going to make a project tonight. Like you guys, when you do her lives, chamel has been doing lives for a very long time. So if you guys aren't familiar with that and you like to craft, you will want to check my friend out. She's uh, fabulous. She lives in England and I can't wait to go back there. I had a trip planned. We had a cruise that we were going on and we were going all over Europe. It was going to be awesome. And we were going to get to visit my friend Jana, who used to be on my design team. We were going to go to Germany and she was going to take us, be our tour guide. And I had planned a side trip, which was going to come home after the cruise. And I was going to go and visit with Chamel. And we were going to go and sightsee and do some fun things and book like some really cool restaurants to go to. And, and COVID happened and that got canceled. Many of my trips got canceled. And now I can't even imagine what it's like to leave the house. Oh, I need to go check her out too. I love her work. Yeah, she, I just... And two, as a human, she's just a good human. So um, I was supposed to go. We have a lot of fun because I met up with her the last time I was there with Birds of a Feather. It is an event in England that they do uh, crafting crops. And I went and taught. And they took me around to all these awesome places. And then I hung out with Chamel and her son, we went to the museum and all these fun things. And I had booked a really cool um, boutique hotel and I was going to go and live it up. And I got to live it up in my basement for two years. <laughs> right. That's what I said. I don't know how I'm going to handle reentry into the real world when um, we actually leave the house. I don't know. Will I know how to talk to people? Will I, Will I be, like, I think I'm going to end up being, um, what? A Barbie shoe alert. What happened? Where are there, are there Barbie shoes? I don't want to, well, I want to leave my house because I want to travel. But um, what is funny is I, will I be like some kind of weird pariah? Because <laughs> I don't know how to function in public anymore. I don't know. Could happen, man. Could happen. So I'm going to do some like this too. Yeah, I like that, Vicky. Okay, just make it interesting so the ends aren't just kind of nothing. Okay. I laugh. Riley went to visit his friend that he hangs out with and works out all the time. And then he's like, Will you come pick me up after? Hi, Devin. Hi, Miles. Hi. Hi, I'm on live. Say hello to my child, friends. Hi. She's here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I have re-entry uh, anxiety. I like my PJs. I want to wear clothes dandy, though, I have to say. Did you guys eat? No. No, not exactly. Um, so, it's 935. Oh, no. <laughs> and where's my Starbucks? Well, someone decided to take a nap over there. <laughs> so. Loser. 
Yeah, I didn't feel good either because I don't have my Starbucks. So see now, like, look at everybody's getting a really rotten Friday Night Live and it's all your fault, Devin. All your fault and Miles. <laughs> look at, I did paper weaving. You want to learn how to do this, don't you, Dev? Devin wants to see if you guys are talking to her. So she's looking. See, Karen said hi to you. See there? Hi, children. Hi, kids. That's funny. That's funny. Your grandmother's on here. So Nanny's on here. I wonder if both grandmas are on here because sometimes um, Grandma Booten watches too. Okay, so that is kind of what I'm going to do. I And then we'll go from there. I, I'm kind of digging that. So let's commit, right, friends? So anybody working with me tonight? Or are you just all hanging out? And we were singing. We were singing. We were singing. Crisscross can make it. Jump, jump. Do you know that song, Deb? Yeah. Uh, or that's, that's like 90s, is it? What are you trying 90s? to say? Like that's like in the fifties yeah, or no, something. No, no, that's I think that's either I can't tell if that's early two thousands or, or and late then 90s. we were singing House of Pain where it was another jump song. Jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up and okay, get I down. Devin's said, dancing, you see? Crisscross. I did Chris we were singing both miles. I know, but they, that's like nineties, I think. I think. I think they're both in or around at the same <laughs> time. <laughs> When I was when I was four, what are you looking for? Why don't you just go take some money and just go get something? I know, but mummy is not making you any foodies. I wasn't gonna ask you to. Yeah, my friends are like, sorry, Devin, you're on your own. I know that she's got work to do here. Stop distracting her. She's gonna do something wrong. Um, why don't you make, make grilled cheese? Everyone loves grilled cheese. Yeah, everyone loves okay, grilled nice. cheese. Or a fried egg sandwich, like scrambled egg sandwich. Oh, we have, I made the best omelet this morning. You should have seen oh, it. Yeah. Spinach. Yeah. Peppers, oh, wow. Oh, low you, fat you, cheese. You ruined it with insane. the peppers no, for me. No, it was, it was red no, peppers. I hate peppers. Like, good. I hate peppers. It was, it was good, good, though. It was good. Nope. Sounds and gross. You ruined the whole thing for me. Blueberries and raspberries on the side. Blueberries and raspberries on the side, too. I cut through a whole meal. In, in the pepper omelet? No. <laughs> oh, she... Yeah, I kind of ruined all You only gave me, like, two raspberries. <laughs> well, because there was oh. barely any left. Okay. Go make your food. Get away from me now. Yeah. <laughs> it looks nice. You like that? Yeah. Guess what's going on in a picture of you. Really? Can I see it? I don't know. Because are you going to say it? it's ugly? <laughs> Sorry, friends, distraction, because welcome to the Booten House. I'm Team Pepper. Dawn is with you, Team Peppers. Yeah, they love peppers. Good. I cannot eat peppers. They give me the I worst don't mind them, like, when they're in, something. in the world. I no. probably wouldn't eat them alone, but like, no. when they're in something, it's good. No, we can't even be friends. That's Okay, a, that's a good picture. Okay, it passed muster. Devin is okay with that picture. So it's going to go down here. Yeah, so you so see the layout's coming together. Good. That is indeed look. You like nice. it? I do. I mean, I couldn't accomplish that myself because I'm not artistic, but. But you can appreciate I it? Appreciate like it. going to like the museum? Yeah. You can appreciate the <laughs> artwork? <laughs> okay, love you. okay bye. Get out. Have fun. Bye. Bye. <laughs> she just saying bye. Did you hear that? I stay away from peppers. I cannot eat them. I cannot, can't do green peppers, but all the others are yum. Like literally, if I come to your house, when I go on my tour and you make me food with peppers, I'm not going to eat it. But just know that, just know that now. And if you order pizza and there's peppers on it, I will be mad at you. I can't eat them. You love peppers. I can't see nightshade veggies. Yeah, I can't eat them. They really evil nightshade ve veggies. They kill me. Yeah, caused me a lot of pain. So this is fun, but it's a little boring right now. So we're going to have to vicify it in some way. But I know that I want my photos to go something like that. I think that'll be fun. So I think the business on the bottom of the page. And then um, we can do some other things. So let's figure the things out. Let's figure out. Let's make this not look like a piece of turd. <laughs> right? Let's unturdify it. 
So I have a bunch of embellishments and papers here and we'll figure out what we're going to do. So again, I did not plan much other than paper weaving tonight, but this may change a bit here still. We'll decide. You can come here. I hate peppers too. Okay, I can go visit Loretta. Oh, okay. Now that makes sense. I missed it. I love them all. I like spicy peppers, Dana, like jalapenos and stuff. I love, and I love like banana peppers. I don't like red, green, maybe yellow I could eat, but meh. House was so quiet when the kids moved out. Yeah. Well, they don't come talk to me very often. Um, the peppers don't agree with me. No, it's not that I don't like the taste of them. They hurt me. Um, it is it causes me pain. And you know when sometimes they're in food and you don't know? Like when I went to um, New Orleans, which another favorite place that I've ever been. I love New Orleans. And I liked crawfish etouffee. And I had it in one place and it was so good. And then the next place I went, they had peppers in it and it killed me. Green peppers are the devil's fruit. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, I can't eat them. They hurt. Okay. So digging this, let's decide. I think matting the photos in black could be a lot of fun or, ooh. okay. So I'm going to use that. I, I like that some way. Somehow, we're going to play around a little. I think black will be fun on here. So guess what we're going to do? You know, my favoriteest thing. So that whole artwork may move up a bit. I think I'm going to move it up a bit. But I would like to do a scalloped edge. So you know how I just did this and glued it all down? <laughs> Changed my mind. And I feel like I want it to shift up so I have a little bit more room on the bottom of this layout. So I should not have even glued anything down yet. I should have waited. I jumped the gun. See, Devin came down here and distracted me because like, I honestly think sometimes my kids come down and honestly thought I was going to stop doing what I was doing and make her food. And I'm looking at her going, yeah, that's not going to be happening anytime soon. Sweet child of mine. So um, that was funny. So I'm like, go make food. There's stuff up there. Figure it out. Okay. Oh, see, border punch. Let's just do some fun things. Um, when are your kids done school? Well, Riley is in university, so he's done. He is, Riley is going to school for accounting. He's going to be an accountant and he is on a, he is in a co-op uh, program. So he's actually working at an accounting, do they call it an accounting firm? Is it a firm? Um, he's working on doing that already. So he is, go gets up every day. He tells me, I'm a working man now. I'm a working man. That's what he tells us all. Sorry, I can't do that because I'm a working man. <laughs> so he's hilarious. Yes, a firm. So he is doing that. He gets up and goes to work. And Devin only has two classes because she did a different summer school program so that she could get two spares and she will finish. And it's a very sad thing here in Ontario because um, there's going to be no prom. They're not going to have a regular graduation. It's like, it's still, it's, that's not happening here. So unfortunately um, we bought our prom dress though because um, I want pictures. So it's beautiful. You'll love this. Guess what it is? It's white and iridescent. It's covered in iridescent sequins. I love it. It's okay, Valerie. Um, I will video chat with you late at night. So it's like waiting for the kid. Oh, she'll, she'll check in with you. So anybody who lives in my area, there's in Buffalo, there's a news station and tell me if you guys had this too. So it will be, um, when the 11 o'clock news would come on, it would say, um, it's now 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Do you guys remember that? Anybody out there? Patty will remember that. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? 
I don't know why that just popped into my head, but did anybody else, do you remember that Patty? So maybe it was on other news stations, but on the 11 o'clock news, it would come on and say, it's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? And then we had another show called Commander Tom. And um, that was awesome with Davy and Goliath. And I want to know if anybody remembers the, what is that called? Stop motion animation, whatever, with Davy and Goliath. And I've asked you guys before because I love to talk about cartoons from my childhood. It was like the best. We had the best childhood with the TV that we had got to watch in our cartoons. But I love Davy and Goliath. Yeah. Fox News at 10 p.m. does that. Does it? Do they really? I was disturbed and I wanted to uh, I wanted to get with <laughs> Commander Tom. Oh, my goodness. And do you want funny... Um, his daughter lived down the street from us. So Commander Tom would like go over and visit his daughter. So, but do you remember Davy and Goliath? Because that was crazy, right? It always had like Davy would get in trouble and then there'd always be like a moral. There'd always be like a good moral to like how Davy and the dog was Goliath and things that they should do. But I love Davy and Goliath. And now I think if you watched it, it's probably disturbing. Like that show was like weird. Why were like, there were some weird stuff going on in the 70s, man. Um, used to ask, so your CHCA used to do that too? I just remember, I'm sure it was Buffalo, right? It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Like Gumby. Yeah, I remember Gumby, but I think, was, Gum was Gumby on Saturday Night Live too? I used to cut Mr. Dressup's hair. Did you really, Laura? Oh my goodness, Casey and Finn again. They were clay people, yeah, I love it. Oh, I love it. Religious Play-Doh people, <laughs> Davy and Goliath, because it was, it was, it definitely had that, like there was church um, kind of like storyline, right? But I watched it, I watched all the cartoons, right? And all those shows, any good news is good good news with Gary good news. Was that the great space coaster? We'll see if anybody is like, like Vicky and loved their uh, Saturday morning cartoons. And I loved after school special specials were like the best thing in the world. I loved them. My mom's uncles were pastors. So we watched all the good guy shows. I love it. Mr. Bill, yes, and then he'd always get squished, right? Thunderbirds and Fireball, I love it. Um, Eddie Murphy did a skit of gum, oh, sorry. <laughs> That's what it is, Dana. It had nothing to do. Uh, Winky Dink, I have no clue what Winky Dink, I know Puffin stuff, but I loved Gary Ganoos, right? Any Ganoos is good Ganoos with Gary Ganoos, yeah. So um, I don't know if anybody watched that show or if you're laughing at me because you're like, what the heck is she talking about? So I'm going to build on this, but let's try. I'm going to pick what embellishments I want to use. So they may, um, they may, oh, look, these would be fun on here, maybe. Um, guide me in my paper choice. Wonky Dink. I have no clue what that is. Winky Dink. Winky Dink, Wonky Dink. Which one is it? I hated the Looney Tunes. Denise, just so you know. I did was never or I didn't like Looney Tunes and I hated um Roadrunner. I didn't like that. It was very, very upsetting to me that the that the um, Wiley Coyote always like got crushed by the anvil and stuff. Winky. I don't know what that is. Ho Hobo Kelly. You're just making this stuff up now. Like what is Hobo Kelly? <laughs> I love it. Okay. So let's find like, look at, I think one of these titles will be fun. See, and then we can play up the black. So it uh, might be beautiful. I might just put beautiful because she's my beautiful girl. So maybe I'll layer 
two different fonts here or two different things, but I'm going to cut out beautiful. Yes, I love those layered flowers. So we try to do something really fun with those layered elements. The first time that we came up with that was with the layered butterflies, which I freaking loved. And I, I don't remember what I did with the last collection. There was something else we layered. We've had butterflies and what else do we have? I can't remember. And then the flowers turned out really well. So now with when we start working on the next next collection which i've already started oh see i like that see tying the black in there and now we're going to decide like what we can do that will help with our embellishment and i know that i'm going to probably do this and put another pattern down here but i like that beautiful decide if that's going to go under or on top. I don't know yet. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, Renee. Stop causing trouble. So we know who the troublemaker is tonight. Stop it with your crazy self. Are we cutting paper together on Sunday? 100% cutting the paper together. We're going to do that. And I laughed. Somebody said, is it going to be a 10 hour class on Sunday? I said, I don't know. Maybe it might be right. It might be a 10 hour class. Lippy the lion and hearty har har. What are you talking about? What are you drinking tonight? I think you're making that up, Kim. Lip lippity lip lip and har har. What are you talking about? Um, red scissors look like a crime scene. <laughs> okay, so I'm digging that. Now let's decide what other colors, because I would love to, oh, you know what I feel like? Let's see. Right off, like as we, because look, there were no, no plans for this tonight, so I'm just kind of pulling this together, right? So I want to find some things that are going to tie. Oh, I have two of these sticker sheets, so we don't need that. And then I do have more paper. So let's look. Something just popped into my scary little brain. And let's see if I can find something that will make me happy. I know who Rocky, J Squirrel, and Bullwinkle are. I know that. I'm not seeing all the comments. It's killing me. I'm sorry, Laura. It's because I can see YouTube and Facebook at the same time. And friends, because I never remember to say this, please, 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 if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. It only takes a second. And um, if you're on Facebook and you haven't already, make sure that you um, like and follow my Facebook page and same with on YouTube. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to the channel, right? Yeah, Kim's just making stuff up now. Hardy Har Har. What was the Hardy Har Har show? Natasha and Boris Bad Badano Badanov. I know who they are. It's a, the skinny lady, right? Um, not to worry, Vicky. Yeah, isn't that funny? I'm like, I think she's just making stuff up now. That was funny, Patty. I would have to agree with you. I think she is just pulling it out. Okay, I want to see if I can find something that will tie some of our colors in. Oh, like, look. I love it. So I'm going to use that little piece there. Okay, because I like that. So let's just cut that off. And this paper is inspired. Do you know, so do you want to know one paper that it buy it? Cause it will never be back because it's all sold out and it made me really sad. Are you ready for it? Which paper do you think is completely gone and not reordered? There is a paper in this collection that is completely gone and not reordered. And it is a sad, sad thing. So I'm going to show you what it is in a minute because I went to order more of it. What are you doing up there, kidlets? 
right above me is the island. And so they sit on um, the chairs at the island and that's what they do. Because I don't know in your house if it's the same, but why would you get up off a chair and move it when you could just drag it all over the floor? Ding dongs. So this, I'm gonna show you which paper is gone and you cannot order it anymore at American Crafts. <gasps> it's this one. This one is gone. So if you see it out, stores will not be able to bring it back in. It's gone now. I can't order it anymore. It is the one paper that didn't get reordered. It's the butterflies. So if you love that one and you would like another piece of it, if you see it, make sure you grab it because it is gone. So I like that. And now I feel like I want to tie the navy in is what I'm going to mat the photos with. So I will not use that butterfly paper now because I feel like I need to save it forever. But I don't want to use this navy because it's the same pattern. So I don't want to do that. But I know there is another one. But I think that some kind of blue. Oh, I have another idea. Let's see. Maybe. But I'll have to go through and make sure that I save at least one of every paper because I like to do that so I have reference points for when we are designing the next collections. I like to come and talk about um, what papers I loved, what I didn't love, what I thought worked, what didn't work. So um, I definitely always come back and revisit everything and decide um what i want to revisit this one might be fun but... no i don't know i don't know i want blue but the blue's not gonna work we had sesame street here too right da 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 everything's da, da, da. i don't remember the words now is that that's pretty bad. Where we meet. Da, 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 da. How to get to Sesame Street. Right? Sunny days chasing the clouds away. Is that the words? It's been many, many, many moons since I watched Sesame Street. My favorite thing on Sesame Street would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is my favorite part on Sesame Street. And do you remember? Agua. Agua. <laughs> Tell me the 70s were weird. Did some weird stuff. I think that was, maybe it wasn't in the 70s. When would Sesame Street have been on? I don't even know. Okay, I'm not finding what I need in that stack of paper, so I am going to have to figure something else out. Electric Company. I love that, Dora. I forgot about that. Where the air is clear. I love it. Well, can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? One of these things is not like the other. Yeah, the vampire, right? Yes. And then um, I think, I really think, I don't think this is for every Canadian would know this, but what is, was the whatever world house of Frankenstein? What was that one we watched with the um, something house of Frankenstein? And I think that it, that was local. Like, I really think that um, it was, I'm going to, I'm starting to kind of put this together. So, do you remember Zoom? I don't know. It sounds familiar, but I don't know if I do or not. Flintstones and Jetsons, yeah. It was only on CHCH. I freaking loved that show, Patty something world you have guys the hilarious house of frankenstein and for anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about you need to look that up because i'm sure it's got to be on youtube or something 
you want to talk about a freaky deaky show was that one that was a weirdo show and i loved that show and tiny talent time i used to love that show too so it was a talent show and kids would go on there and tap tap dance and do whatever tiny talent time tiny talent time right it's tiny talent time <laughs> it was awesome okay so let's decide i don't think i have my other chipboard here i thought maybe i had one sheet of it this is hard sometimes friends like i'm just trying to pull this all out with having not planned any of it um my son your son was on tiny talent time every sunday afternoon oh i love tiny talent time every sunday afternoon your son was on there i love that show have to ask since there's canadians here do you know red green of course we do i think every canadian knows red green and the other thing we know are the trailer park boys <laughs> I remember that tiny talent time. You're nuts, Vicky. Oh, I love that show. Um, you always wanted to be on tiny talent time. Yes. And the romper room. Uh, yes. And they never said Vicky. She would look through that freaking thing and never see Vicky. Yeah, we all know who Red Green is. Uh, probably somebody out there might know him. You know, like it. that could be a real thing. Like I have friends who know Red Green. I never watched that show, though. Mr. Dress Up, I did love, though. And going in, what was the tickle chest or whatever? He'd go in with Casey and Finnegan. Yeah, I loved uh, Mr. Dress Up. He was an awesome guy. I liked that show. It was very good. He's like our Mr. Rogers. It was Mr. Dress Up. We grew up with that. And Captain Kangaroo, yes. And what was the giant one where the big door would open? What was that show? Right? Oh, the polka dot door. I love that one. Let's stay tuned for the polka dot door with songs and stories and so much more. Do, 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 do. The polka dot door. This is a time we all will say, get ready, get set for Make Believe Day. <laughs> Does anybody remember that show? Oh, I loved it. But yes, I remember that friendly giant and he'd open that door and everybody would come through, like he'd come through that door. Uh, did you say you went into a tinkle? No, tickle chest. I'm sure it was called the tickle chest. And that's, they go in there and they find art supplies or whatever. Um, how do you remember that song? I don't even know how I remember that one, but I loved the polka dot door. And I wanted that, um, cause they were like, I wanted the doll, whatever the raggedy Ann looking doll, I wanted her. So the tickle trunk, hammy hamster. Now that was another freaking weirdo show that I absolutely loved. So this show, if you guys knew it, they would be hamsters and guinea pigs that like they drive cars and it was real. Like they somehow did the whole show with real rabbits and, and hammy hamster and there were guinea pigs and you'd go into their house and they'd voice over it. Yeah, it was crazy, right? Casper the Friendly Ghost. Marigold, that's it. I wanted a marigold doll so, so bad. Yeah, I wanted that. The doll was called Marigold. I wanted her, right? So weird. A, rote, a rat that drove a boat. Yeah, hammy hamster. I loved it. Uh, my 13-year-old is listening and just ask me if you've gone mad. Yes. Yes, I have. But you see, we had a much better childhood than kids have nowadays. Like, there, I don't know. There was a lot for us. We played with toys. We had the best time, right? But his craft table was awesome. Yeah, romper room and Casey Jones. Yeah, it was so good. Okay, so Vicky, let's get back to the scrapbooking because now the youngsters are asking if I've gone mad. I better rein it in so it looks like I know what I'm talking about. Oh, I like beautiful snapshots of your life. I love it. So let's get my little powder tool out. See, do you hear that, man? If you're a mom out there or a dad or a sister, <laughs> I'm sure you have things that go on in your house that are annoying. And the sound of them dragging their chairs above me is, aw is not awesome. 
I love strawberry shortcake and Jim because she was truly outrageous. But I do remember all that stuff. If we go together somewhere that they have a trivia thing with like 80s trivia and 70s trivia, you want me on your team because I remember the most mindless information. You wanted a Pebbles doll? Flintstones weren't my jam. I like the Jetsons better. Um, but I was never, I didn't like that um, Fred yelled at Wilma all the time and yelled at people. I had a hard time with the Flintstones. Isn't that funny? So I like this, that it'll tie the purple in. So I'm going to put that on there with some foam dots. You know all that junk too? I don't know. I just, I remember all that stuff. I love Trivial Pursuit. The only thing, if you want me to, if it's at the end and you got to pick, like you pick the question that, um, cause you don't want me to win, just pick geography because that is how I will, uh, that's how you will have me lose is pick geography. Ask my mom. They laugh cause I do not know geography at all. It's terrible. I always say there's just no space left in my brain for geography. So it's going to be something like this. Not sure yet, but I like that. Beautiful snapshots of our life. And this is hard, friends, sometimes to just throw stuff together and for it to work. Because sometimes, you know, you got to get up, you walk away, you come back. So the pressure's on tonight for me not to look like a loser who doesn't know how to scrapbook. Because <laughs> that's what I'm kind of feeling like. A loser who doesn't know how to do the scrapbooking. See, I'm a card maker now. I don't remember how to scrapbook. For the bottom, were you thinking of uh, back of the pink and orange paper, the white and blue outline flowers for the bottom? No, I was just going to leave this here and then maybe I can put some little things in. I need some business going on here. So I'm going to grab my ephemera and see if there's something that will help the process. So I have my unicorn bowl and like, I don't even know if I want to keep that on there. I don't even know right yet. So we'll decide because it's a lot of business going on here, but we'll decide. But let's look at what we could add. Oh, look, it's a flower with a stem. And maybe I'll tie some orange in there. Let's decide. I don't know yet. I have, I'm not committing, so don't freak out if you're looking at it and going, I don't like that, Vicki. It's okay, because I'm not there yet, but I'm just kind of messing around, and I'll decide what I like. Because guess what is, oh, I like that, totally in my head now is that song I was singing earlier. This is a time we all will say, get ready, get set for make-believe day. With songs and stories and so much more, do, 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 the polka dot door. Yeah, that is totally happening here. I'm just messing around and we'll decide what stays and what doesn't. Let's see, I think I need to quiet that noise down on the bottom, but we need to make things make sense in here. So I really need something that ties some of the colors in here, in there. So I am just looking through Look, that totally, look, look. Let's see, I can start tying some of what's going on in here with that. Maybe we'll decide.
if we like that because I kind of like it. I just don't know if that's where I'm going to put it or not. It's not going to go there. I can tell you that. got quiet for a minute because now I'm concentrating. I'm kind of digging that. This is kind of making me happier. You're far from being a loser, Vicki. Sometimes though, right? It's hard. Uh, there was a serial killer that was a contestant on the dating game. Are you serious, Denise? I loved the dating game game and the gong show i love that show too and guess what another favorite show and let's see if anybody else's was a favorite show saturday or not uh, solid gold i loved and wanted to be a solid gold dancer and my friend wendy and i would play like solid gold like we would be solid gold dancers I wanted a gold lame outfit and I wanted to be a solid gold dancer like nobody's business. So yes, I loved that show, Solid Gold. Does anybody remember that? Are you talking about the Barbara family like Barbara Papa and Barbara Mama? Lickety split, Barbara Trick? But I think that would only, um, how old am I? 78. 50. I'm 50. Um, I love solid gold. Oh my goodness, that show was the best. See, now I can tie this back in here because I put that piece there and it brought it all together. But I want it to come up higher because I love that. So I just have to now make this all work. Let's make the things work. But I'm liking how this is coming together. Bring that one down a bit. And that over. And I'm going to commit what's going on so far. And then I'll decide. Because this is a little different for me. This layout is a little different. So let's do the things. Look at that piece actually would be cool. Hmm. Look at sometimes when you flip the things around. Let's look. No, no, I changed my mind. I loved Mad TV. We were actually talking about Fire Marshal Bill and Homie the Clown the other night. And Rich gets really mad at me when I do my Fire Marshal Bill impression, right? Ar, 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 ar. And you do that weird thing that Jim Carrey would do. And he gets, he's like, don't do that. That freaks me out. Freak me out when he did it. Freaks me out when you do it. So we were talking about homie. Homie, don't play that. Yeah, the color swatch. See, we have a visual triangle going on. So um, I'm very much digging that. And then I'm going to put that in there because it ties in. But I will quiet this one down a little bit. And you easily could make this into a double for my friends that are double page layout makers. I would have carried um, this pattern right across into the double and then snipped it, snipped it. I'm going to leave a little bit of the black showing at the bottom. Okay. I'm going to commit beautiful because I like it there. So it's going to go there. soul train my husband loves vera vera who i missed it which one's vera are you talking about what was the other show with mel kiss my grits was vera on that show was she on that show mel's diner is that what that show was called mel's diner or is that just where she worked was that rhoda 
no, that was something else, right? But I remember, Mel, kiss my grits. Alice, right? Mel's diner. Mel, kiss my grits. So I'm going to put beautiful, I like it, that right there. I totally love that. Beautiful, marvelous. And I will put that there because I like it. And then we'll go around the rest. It's beautiful. It's marvelous. And a little there. Maybe. Coronation Street. Oh my goodness. So I, in case you guys didn't know this, I lived in England on a working holiday for a couple of months. And I, well, but you know what's funny? I started watching Coronation Street when I came home because it just made me feel like being in England. But when I was there, we watched the other one. What was the other show? There was Coronation Street and the other one. Um, Coronation Street and there was we did watch the other show when we lived in England. And I can't remember. I, I love Coronation Street. Um, I haven't watched it for a very long time. But what's EastEnders? Was that the other one? East. EastEnders and was that the other one with Coronation Street and EastEnders? I think that was the other one. And that's what we watched. Yes. Hello, Michelle. I watched the EastEnders when I lived in England. That's We'd watch that at supper time. We'd have our dinner and we'd watch EastEnders. <laughs> Crazy. I don't even know because we were all like our whole house was all people that were from Canada because we were a novelty right? They would have us come over and I would sell vacations on the phone, caravan vacations, which it, for people who don't know, a caravan is a motor home, like a mobile home vacations. And, um, but I couldn't stay doing that job very long because I couldn't understand what anybody was saying to me. If they called me from Wales or from Scotland, it was all over. I'd have to say pardon 12 million times and transfer the call because I could not understand what anyone was saying to me if they were calling from Scotland or Wales. I couldn't understand, right? Um, did you work in London? I worked in a place called Hemel Hempstead. Yeah, so I worked in, where are you? Where is that? Michelle, I saw that you were at the airport. I don't know where that is. Help me. And how do I say that word? Glen Glenorchy? Glen Glenorchy? Is that where you are? Glenorchy? Is that New Zealand or somewhere else? Um, yes, I worked in Hemel Hempstead, which was um, right outside. Like we could take the train into London. And then I lived in Tenby in the south of Wales. And I worked on an actual caravan park there. The Red Shed out of Queenstown. I've been there. I have several photography friends who live in England. Yep. So, um, and then I lived in Wales um, and worked on the park. So when you guys would, if like anybody who lived there would come to stay at the, um, to get a caravan, I would be the one to greet you and give you your bedding and your keys and a map in my polyester uniform. But I laugh because people would talk to me there too. And I wouldn't know what anybody was saying. <laughs> right? They'd come in and they this one man came in and I all he said was something like, hello, I'm Mr. Smith. And I looked at him and every time he said it, I'm like trying so hard to understand what the man was saying. And I had to go get one of my coworkers because I'm like, I do not I don't know what this man's saying. I've said pardon to him four times and came out and he literally was just saying, hello, I'm Mr. Smith. But in Wales, right, it's and I couldn't understand a word he said. 
And then everyone that worked with me thought it was hilarious. And the other thing is we would have to call on the walkie talkies and stuff for maintenance. And they all laughed what, how I said maintenance, maintenance, bacon buddy sandwiches. Oh, so good. So good. Right. But yeah, the poor man was just trying to tell me what his name was. And I'm like, pardon, pardon. Guess what? I don't like the purple on here. So we're going to have to do something to fix it. And that kind of gets lost, doesn't it? But we'll figure it out. So let's do the things. I'm liking, though, how it's coming together now. I'm liking it. And I think Devin looks really pretty on here. And this I like. And now we need some an element down here that will brighten it up and make it fun. So let's look at the things. Ooh, look. You know, I have to have a butterfly on there somewhere. But I don't know if that's going to work or not don't know so we'll just throw them on there and just see sadly i agree about the blue on the bottom what you don't like the blue on the bottom it's okay don't put blue on yours right but i'm not done i i could will probably put a little thin strip of something on there but i need some blue on there to create my visual triangle and because the green and everything else is there but this is what's throwing me off. So it might only just need to be matted on something and I'll like it better. So let's remove it for a minute so I can decide what I want to do here. Because I don't think it's the blue. I really think it's that piece of purple kind of gets lost. So we'll decide. We will decide. Oh, I kind of dig that. So... Let's see. And then we'll do something. We'll do something, right? Nope. No. It's hard sometimes because sometimes you got to walk away, right? And we'll see if tonight is going to be you need to walk away, Vicki, and decide what you want to do. Or maybe it will just all kind of come to me. Um, but at this point, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Because it's not coming to me right now. Not yet. It's not coming to me right yet. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Doesn't mean it won't happen. It's just not going to be easy. They're still up there. And I can't wait to go and see if uh, my children cleaned up after themselves. Because probably not. I'll go up there and then um, I will have to clean the kitchen up. Because, you know, why would you clean up after yourself? 10B is awesome do what the Chinese do and they say yes to everything as they don't understand dialects could happen. But can I tell you in 10 B what the best, my best experience is? Uh, do you think you will come out with any sprays? Probably not. Probably not. Um, and two, if you ever noticed, it's not my favorite thing to work with. I am not um, a lover of, Oh my goodness. Why did I, Laura, did I post you up on my thing? Hide current comments. Sorry, Laura. <laughs> I clipped you up there because you know, like, watch. Um, take this purple strip and put it on the lower dark. I, I'm going to probably mat it on something, Astrid. Um, yes, why would you do such a thing? Clean up after yourself. I can clip on any of your comments and it will show up on the screen. Did you see? I, that happened uh, before we were doing something and somebody's comment showed up on the screen. Oh, maybe. Let's swap those out and see the green one down here and then that one there. And I think we have one more. I think there's one more, but I don't think it's the same shape. It is more moth-ish. So I don't know, but probably could. Oh, I like that. I like it. I like it. 
putting that the layers on top. And now let's find where I don't even know where I put my purple word snapshots of your life. I might like it now again. Now that um, I put that butterfly there. I'm going to mount it. That's what needs to happen. I'm going to mount that on yellow. So let's find a little strip of some yellow and see if that will help. Yellow help? Nope. But I'm going to do this. Maybe. Here. like that. And don't know if I want this on here at all because it's bothering me. That's a mothful show, right? I like it like it I this is totally vicified right vicified and I need a subtitle I just have to decide what it's gonna be because that is really how I do the things right is I like subtitles and I love one of my favorite things well one I love these stickers um, because this iridescent um, gold is the bomb diggity. I really, really, really love that. So I'm going to see if I can't do something like this and then figure out a subtitle to put there that beautiful. And then I'll figure out something down there and decide, see, I need the chipboard and I don't have, that is the other thing friends, when you see it, you want to buy the chipboard because beautiful. Um, what's it say? This is the stuff that matters. Oh, I like that. And if I matted it on something, like look at beautiful. You make the world more colorful. Mm, I like that too. Do you know what I'm saying? Like look, uh, fun, but it needs to be on something because it'll get lost on there, but I kind of really dig in that. So let's find something to mat it on. What do you have laying around, Vicki Booten? I have to find something. So what colors can we play with here? We could play with the orange, because the orange is here. So see, if I matted that on a piece of orange, we have orange around the layout. So I will find something and we are now down to um, just the embellishing and I like it. Point the arrow to Devin above her. Yeah, no, I'm going to point to my subtitle. I'm going to point to my subtitle. Oh, beautiful. This is what matters. Okay. Beautiful. This is what matters. And then you make the world more colorful. I like it, but do you see what I'm saying? Like it's going to get lost. I will mat that one. I just have to find something, but I like this. This is the stuff that matters. Ties my orange in. I'm loving it. And now, what are you going to mat that on? Because of course, I have no cardstock or anything around this joint. Maybe a piece of black. Let's see. We'll have a little piece of black. Maybe that'll work. Just a little, little thin black mat. I'm going to try it. Just a little, little, little thin one. I hate when that happens. 
like some of these card stocks are very hard to trim without getting all that kind of frayed madness. Frayed madness. very much that makes me very much happy I just curled it around around this joint do you say that where did that saying come from maybe my it's not dull my cutting blade isn't dull normally that's what happens but I just changed it but I find some of the um the uh, papers are very fibrous and then you get like the craziness, right? Okay, I'm committing. I like the overlap. Let's curl our little butterfly wings and see if the pop dot is going to show from behind it. I'm hoping, I think the, it's not that bad with these. But we'll try it. Oh, wow, that didn't want to come off. I love it. But we still have to, like, I know that this paper, because the um, glazes don't, like, color study isn't neon right it's not a neon collection so we went with the um neon uh set of texture paste but it doesn't necessarily right oh sunday is um i'm teaching a class on sunday starting at 10 o'clock eastern time uh for i'll show you which class is on sunday this one is what's on Sunday. Where is it? This one. So I sold these kits and some people have bought the access only, but I'm teaching this class is on Sunday. And when the lady asked me, is it going to be 10 hours and thought it was funny? I'm like, it might be. It's not a super simple class. It's a lot of fun, right? So this is uh, the class I'm teaching on Sunday. So it will be fun. Definitely eat your Wheaties. Get your paper clips handy. If you bought the kit and you're like, oh, I forgot all about that kit. That's on Sunday. Um, if you need the clear roll of dimensional tape, it rocks. Oh, I'll have to, I don't even know what that is. What is a clear roll of dimensional tape? You just bought access only tonight? Yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah, that one sold out super, super fast. And then I could not get any more product because it sold out at um, Simple Stories as well. Um, those vintage ones sell out really fast. So uh, I sold through those kits I very quickly. And there was no reordering because the collection was gone right away. Good night, Leanne. Oh, glue dots. Yeah, I don't use glue dots. Isn't that funny? I do not because I remember back in the day when I did lots of work with magazines, I had made an entire album with tissue paper on chipboard and decoupage because I've been doing the mixed media forever. And my album came back and all the glue dots had melted all over the project. So I don't ever use glue dots anymore. I am a um, foam dot user. It is called Cool Tac Foam and it's clear foam tape. 
I don't even know that. I will have to look because I I know Cool Tech. I buy lots of Cool Tech. I did not know that they had anything like that. So I'll have to check it out. Or I have it and didn't even know. <laughs> I might have it and not even know that that's what you use it for. You'll be doing the class together. That is fun, Catherine. Uh, yes, it that class will be a good one. You guys will enjoy that. It's going to be fun. It will be a lot of paper cutting, which is not a bad thing, but look at, so everything is glued down so far. I am totally digging this and I like the little piece of yellow at the bottom. And now I just feel like I need a little bit of business up here. So let's decide what that's going to be. The flowers didn't, I don't, did we use any a thing? Well, I did a little bit out of the ephemera, right? So I'm going to tie the gold in as well. So there's going to be some little dancing gold hearts. And this will go in the ephemera thing to be used another day. And I am going to pop. I love these. I would have a whole page of gold hearts and these little dots. They make me very, very happy. yeah and you know what's funny is this initially like this is not my normal go-to how I would design a layout but it's coming together and I like it you only use glue dots to put flowers together yeah I'll use them for something like that but I never use them right uh, yes, we will do the class together once we choose a date. I cannot wait. I showed her my previous album I did of yours, and she wanted to make one. My bestie and me creating will make uh, me so happy. I can't wait. That sounds like a lot, a lot of fun. Okay, so let's see how Vicky is going to finish this page. Vicky likes to refer to herself in third person. Vicky is crazy. I love this picture of Devin. Like this layout makes me very, very happy. Um, so let's put a couple things up here. Sweet. Sweet. And um Ooh, 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 ooh. Sweet, fabulous. And one little one. Do, do, do. Awesome, maybe amazing. Sweet, fabulous, and amazing, my little girl. There we go. I'll put that in, and I like that it ties the black up there as well. Um, fabulous might come off, though. No, I like it. Maybe sweet will come off. Yes, I'm happy with that. Just I'm going to put two words on and not three. That will work. Yes, a lot of thought goes in when I develop these product lines um, for layering, right? Like that I like that we have different elements that you can layer and embellish with. So that makes me happy. Again, ties my black in, which I like. Do, 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 right? So digging that. And then let's decide, do I want anything up here? Maybe. Just don't know what it's going to be. Um, that's okay. We love you anyway, or maybe because of it. What? Because I'm crazy. Is Vicky related to Elmo? She talks. <laughs> she talks like that too. Stella, you just said I sound like Elmo. 
I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or if I should be offended that you think I am related to a little red alien Muppet creature. <laughs> um, those flowers in the bottom corner. Yeah, too much. I like them, but it would need to be something very simple. Uh, and it might not be anything. It might be done. It might be done. Um, dude, it might be done. Third person, too. <laughs> I thought, Stella, you were telling me I sounded like Elmo, like his voice. And I was like, are you telling me that uh, my voice is, like, squeaky and weird? I hope I'm not irritating. Do I have an irritating voice to listen to? I hope not. You don't tell me. Don't tell me if you think it is irritating. Um, because that kind of digging that right there, friends. Maybe. And then put like a little, some kind of flag banner business up there a little bit. Let's see. Maybe or maybe not. I don't know yet. But I don't hate it. Let's just see that right now. I don't hate it. You and Elmo make me laugh. I love it. Third person, I get it. You can talk like, is that your um, secret trick? <laughs> uh, my husband thinks you have a sexy voice. Well, well, that is, that's a nice compliment. Thank you, husband. So that's my other job, right? Um, you don't have any flowers on it. I don't because I have butterflies, right? I'm digging the butterflies. So we'll see here if um, that's my other job, right? I work in 1-800 numbers. Your hidden talent. That's it. Yes, thank you. Um, that was funny because I'm like, is that your hidden talent, Dana? that you can talk like Elmo. What do we think? Or just leave it. Do you think I have enough business going on? I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like this corner needs something, but then I don't know if the corner really needs anything. But I could do something like that business, right? What do you think, guys? I don't mind that. You like it? My voice is not irritating. You like it. So you guys like it. Like, right? And I just think it, and maybe like another little piece of something up there. Like maybe a little black piece of something. Something, something. I like that this color ties in that turquoise. What did you say, Nat? Go smaller. What, then the yellow? But this is what I'm thinking. Like, go smaller with another strip, right? What do you think? But maybe the black won't work. But what do you think? Like, maybe put three little ones up here so that the yellow is covered. I see what you're saying, though. That's narrow this down a little bit. A little bit. See, this is what happens. You know, like I say, yes, let's do start to finish layout. There's no way. Like, look at it is almost 11 o'clock. It is almost 11 o'clock. But I'm good. You guys still seem, there's lots of you still here. I lost about probably 100 people. Because <laughs> they're like, holy crap, man, this is going on forever. But it takes a while, right? If you sit down and do a layout, I'm sure you guys are there for a little bit. Okay, let's trim them and see what it looks like when it's finished. Like that business there. 
Did I trim it too short? I don't think so. But let's look. That kind of jazz, you know what I'm saying there? I gotta clean those things up a little bit, but I like that. Do you guys like that? But not the black? Maybe a piece of green instead? Do you think green? Um, it's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? I love it. I love how you guys circle back. Um, it takes you forever to do a page. Love how this page is coming together. And did you like it for the whole way, Brenda? Or did you think it looked like poop along the way? It balances up the black on the bottom. So let's try to find like one little element to add up there that maybe ties the green in here. So let's look. That could work. Look at And the little green heart. And then that ties that little bit of green in. I just feel like it just needs to be done now. That's what I'm really feeling is it just needs to be done. So I am going to go, it looks great and just commit because sometimes you need to just be done with it. Right? So let's do it. And I'll show you, I have this other thing idea. So I think that went like here ish. And this one went, I lost it. Is it stuck on my boob? Where'd I put that black piece? Oh, there. It's not on my boob. So that's good. And was somebody saying something about if my voice was irritating, you wouldn't listen to me? Is that what you said? Sometimes you, I probably shouldn't ask the questions because I might not like the answers. You know what I mean? Sometimes you say something and you're like, mm. I asked that question, but I probably would have my feeling hurt if you said that um, my voice was very annoying. I like it. I don't know about the heart though, so we'll just take it off for a minute. But... And I'm not putting that straight. I'm going to put it a little wonk. And I have to look at it. I like it. I like it. And I'm going to put that green heart there. And let's tie another little orange one up there too. Because we had used orange on the bottom. That green heart is not going to stick for very long. Because I keep lifting it off. But. The dye lines are a little wonky on that, but I like that. And this is like, oh my goodness. Do you ever make a layout and you're like, this is so out of my comfort zone. It is not even funny. Vicky started with freaking purple right off where if you've hung out for a while, you will know that that is not in my wheelhouse usually. I started out with purple and that already threw me for a loop. And I'm throwing these gold dots that are like my favoriteest thing. These things I said to um, my designer, American Crafts that I work with, I'm like, oh my goodness, the ladies and I both agreed that we could have a whole sticker page of um those little freaking gold dots i said just so you know we love them okay vicky you know when to step away and that is right now after i move that dot over a bit but I like that it ties the gold. Oh, I like it. See that little bit of gold up there ties in with the rest of the gold. Let me just pull my phone down here. And I don't think this sucks. And I'm going to go close so you guys can see. Okay, friends. So here we go. See with the metallic. Hair and those guys up top. 
you see. And there we go. So I'm going to put the phone back up. Sorry for the Blair Witch. But I like how it turned out. I don't hate it. It is was fun. It was a whole different process than what we normally do. And um, I think it turned out fun. And now the fun, other fun thing will be is um, making a card because I'm a card maker now. I just like to keep saying that because it makes me laugh. So here I am. Hi. That was fun, right, guys? Um, like I said, you don't have to, not, you don't, every single one of them, I'm sitting down now while I talk to you. Every single one of these isn't knocking it. I don't knock it out of the ballpark with all of them, but um, I enjoyed that. The whole process was kind of fun, right? And I like that kind of little bit. The colors are kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. This is not my normal color palette, but it's a page done for my album one day that I'll put all my pages in the album. So it's okay. It worked. It was fun, fun process. Um, I'll be excited to see how the card will turn out. Cause if you ask me, if I look at this, do I love this page? I wouldn't say I love it. I I'm happy with how it turned out, but this is not my normal style. Right. But it's still fun. And I love the pictures of Devin on this one. We took these for, she needed a photo for her grad. Well, maybe I don't hate it you know what it is too what do you think is the thing on this page that's throwing me i want someone to guess and then we're done here tonight um but there is what the thing that's throwing me on this page and if you've been hanging around for a while one of you is going to know what it is the thing that is 100 percent, renee 100 percent. it's the purple it's a good contrast on there, but if I put this whole layout on a different color background, I probably would love it. It's the purple. Yeah. So, and my phone's going to, the computer's going to die in a minute here anyway. So, because I unplugged it, let's quickly do that. Plug it back in. Uh, I think I can unplug it. Yes. So it doesn't die because that'd be bad if it died while I was talking to you. There, we're good. So it is, it's the purple. Right, it's the purple. If I put this on um, a green background or something that wasn't as heavily contrasted, I would probably loved it. I picked it out. I know I picked it out, Marlene. I was doing it for the peoples, all the purple loving peoples out there. Um, but isn't that funny? She said, you picked it out. I, I'm well aware. <laughs> the purple but I, I was trying it because I always say try the things but it is it's the purple on this page that is throwing me off if I would have done something that made it was um I'm sorry the camera's backwards more subtle on the background I think I would have liked it better but it's good it's good try the things right a little bit of blue along the bottom would look great I know Pam, you wanted that. You, you talked about that. So yeah, definitely is. It's okay. It was fun. I had fun with you guys anyway, right? And not every single one of them, we're not going to knock it out of the ballpark. So it was fun. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. Um, for any of you that are on here, I'll see you on Sunday at 10 o'clock Eastern time. And we are going to have a great time making that project. Make sure that you have um, all of your tools and a full box or container of paper clips. You will need them to stay organized. Uh, don't forget, tomorrow I will be drawing for the Stamptabulous tool with my friend Angie Blom's artwork on it and her uh, wonderful sister creates these. So. I will be giving this away tomorrow. And um, if you want a chance to win, that's on uh, Vicki Booten Creative Community is where I put that giveaway. I'm going to be giving that away and a piece of jewelry that um, I bought at a local store here called 
the post office and um, I'll be uh, giving that away tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll leave it. So if you want, I'll leave it till tomorrow for you guys to um, get on there and post a comment. And I will see you, uh, if not on Sunday, next Friday, and we'll be making uh, lots more fun. Um, hi, Irene. I didn't see you. I'm glad you had fun tonight. So um, what was that? No what? What? No eyeshadow? Yeah. <laughs> to do that too right so okay friends have a great night have a great weekend and uh thanks for hanging out with me as long as you did um see you on sunday if you need help getting to the class yes um to uh talk to natalie and she'll help you in there but this is what i'm going to recommend if you guys are doing the class on sunday look to see if you can get to the link to the youtube and if you can print your instruction before Sunday at quarter to nine, at quarter to 10, I would recommend that you always go and test your link and make sure everything's working. And you um, need to make sure that uh, you have the newsletter. That's the link that'll work. Okay, friends. And Natalie, did I send it to you? I think I sent you all the things, right? Um, is it next Friday yet? Yeah, we'll have fun. So see you later, guys. Thanks so much. You guys are the best. And that was a lot of fun. And have a great weekend. And we will see you guys later.